Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is your captain speaking. We are doing a tier list today. No, Captain, they're alive. Captain, urgent news from the general. Why not really blow it up, Captain? Captain's law. Bugging is awesome and fire. I'm giving her off, she's but Captain. Captain. Oh, Captain, my uh, captain. It's big. It's a big tier list. Is it perfect? No. Is it is it better than zero skaters? No. Except his isn't out yet. So it is. Well, <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> no, but um, yeah, we haven't played enough of the game. We haven't played enough matches to know, like, yeah, this person is 100%. definitely better than this. Right, I'm, and, and that's what this is for. So this is our tier list as of right now at 1 a.m. You know, what we think of the power, where we think the power's at, who's the best, who's not. Mm -hmm. We made some bold moves, some are not. Uh, if you disagree, like the ones you really disagree with, Hit them in, like, Please tell comment. us. Yeah, tell us in the comments. Where do you disagree? Where Discussion's are we wrong? Fun. That's what the whole thing is, discussion. We have it sorted. S, A, B, C, D, and F. There's 48 fighters, no, 47 fighters, including Deadpool. And including Deadpool, yeah, Including yeah. Deadpool. And the four new ones. And including the four new ones. We put the four new ones in here. It's a bold move. We, we have not played them enough to know where they are, but we threw them in here. We played them a, we've played them a bunch recently, but mainly against each other and some against new characters. Right. Uh, and then real quick, too, the way that we did the tier list was we each did our own. Yep. Um, mine based more on matchup spread. I don't really know what yours is based on, but more just your competitive experience. Mm -hmm. um, some of my competitive experience, but also mainly just matchup spread that we did kind of an analysis of, and then we averaged the two. Yeah. All right. So who's the first fighter? All right. So let's get into it. Oh, also, we're going to use the game timer. Yeah. This will be for discussion. Not sure how we want to do it, but ready? Go. <laughs> All right. All right. It, your turn. All right. So first one is Spike. I think I've only played him once. Yeah. And he's just not. He's just not good. Right. Um, He's got the shadow tokens, which in some cases can be kind of useful, mm -hmm. um, but... Easy to play around. Very easy to play around, very low values in general, mm -hmm. and just nothing really dangerous. Um, he came out pretty early. Mm -hmm. Like, all the Buffy set, there's this is the, the bottom tier is notoriously the Buffy tier. We'll just get that out of the way. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, not much to say. He's just arguably the worst character. All right, send it over to me. As far as Spike goes, I have not played him enough. Everyone says he sucks. I've played against him, never lost to him. I just don't, there, there's yeah. really no reason to ever play him unless, like, especially That's the thing, that's the thing. There's no reason to ever play him because what he does well, I think other people do Every other person better. has a good chance of beating you. Right. Which I think, so that's when I talk about matchup spread, meaning if you were to put two fighters against each other and equal skill opponent, you know, who is who would you say is favored? Who's going to win more than 50%? Spike has pretty much zero good matchups. Yep. All right. Um, 47 is 47. Spike. 46 is Angel. Uh, we're, we're on the same page here. Again, it's the same thing. We can't... It's the exact same thing. There's not much to say. Not much to say. We've not played them enough to, to like them. So maybe it's unwarranted, but... I know it's I know it's consensus that they go the here, <laughs> uh, and I've, again never lost to them. They have some matchups they could probably do well. Yeah, just not enough value. The the, the ability is not very good. Ability is better than spikes, probably, but probably. I but, mean, like, right. if Angel after Angel or Faith attacks, if you lost the combat, draw a card. Yeah, I think that something to note is if you play the set within the set, I believe it can it's hold up balanced, and it can sure. be good. Tales to Amaze would be interesting to do, where we're Buffy characters. Right, okay, that's it. Okay, now, if we're factoring, this is not a Tales to Amaze tier this list. This is a competitive head-to-head. This is a competitive head-to-head -head tier list. Yes, the those fighters are going to do better in those uh -oh. in that context. Eating into time. Uh-oh. But yeah, next. Enough said, I think, about Angel as well. Willow. Willow, number three. Next. <laughs> well, okay. Willow, let's talk Willow real quick. Uh, she is definitely better than Angel and Spike. She actually has some pretty interesting card effects. Some recursion. Some recursion. She's Both range. Uh, yep, double ranged. Revive. She can hit pretty hard there's as well. There's five feints. Yeah, five feints. It's an interesting, she's interesting. She's definitely better than the others. Um, yeah. 
and and she can she can do well into certain fighters um, who can't overly aggress her, and you know like against other bottom tier fighters, she can actually do pretty well because she has potential, but also it's a lot of RNG. If you want to do a lot of damage, you're having to blind boost a lot, which is, you know, can be good or bad, but with a deck like Willow's, it's not great. Yeah, one strategy that we see with Willow is you bring her to like a place with a pocket, you put Terra in front of Willow, um, and then she just has the five feints to use, keep her alive for a long time, and then you can just move them when you need Terra to. Terra is a tank. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So, finally moving on to Number... actual fighters. So, King Arthur, um, he's he's not very good. He's harder to win with. He has a few decent matchups, mm -hmm. um, but he's like really the lowest tier playable fighter. I think that these three are pretty much unplayable for the most part. Mm. Um, Willow less so. Arthur has all the, he, he's he's able to actually hold his own against most people. He's pretty, he's got pretty tanky. He's got um, some tricky things that he can do, but he really just doesn't have a lot of weapons. Uh, yeah. It's damage. His ability to close out games is not. He can blind boot, or he can boost all of his attacks, but. They can be fainted. They can be fainted. That's huge. And you're just wasting cards, potentially. Right, you're, you're wasting cards. You're not hitting too hard, mm -hmm. and, uh, and he's going to fatigue out. Um, if, if you want to do a lot of damage with him, you're going to have to boost. Because you're boosting and, too many cards. And yeah. then he doesn't have enough card draw to make up for it. Yeah. So, he's yeah. Re yeah, he's really just not... He, he, he can be good. Like he's like I said, he's playable. Um, and that's the great thing about Unmash is that in general... It's I think I would balanced. probably like to play him over uh, Jekyll. I think I like him more than Jekyll. Putting Jekyll I think I'd put him higher, but I, I just, I'm trying to decide. If I, if I had the two to choose from, who would I choose? Invisible Man is next. Okay, Invisible Man. Um, I agree with this. I think just because... So Invisible Man is definitely a fatigue-oriented fighter, but as a fatigue-oriented fighter, he does have a lot of card draw in his deck, which can make him challenging right. to fatigue some of the newer, more like fighters who can play a lot of passes and recur. There's so lot. much recursion now. It's like the, 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 yeah. the game that he brought, which was so cool, super thematic, uh, yeah, super fatiguey. Initially. Has been, it's expired a little bit. It doesn't Once work. Once again, almost no reason to choose him, and also no reason to choose most of these in the F tier, ever in competitive play. Right. Pretty much zero reason. You've got so many other fighters yeah. that can do better. This is why you should, for casual fun play, for like with your friends, whatever, do play batter ladders, do yep. um, do I pick you choose, um, that kind of stuff. But if invisible you want to get man, those guys playing. Yeah, I, I do love Invisible Man is one of my favorite fighters to play. He's super fun. He's really hard to play well, um, and he has a lot of potential weapons. Mm -hmm. And if you outplay your opponent, um, Invisible Man can win a lot of matchups that are surprising. I think, but he's just really difficult because he pretty much can't kill anybody with just damage. There are right. few, very few people who he can just kill outright with damage. He has to usually resort to fatigue. And lately, that's much harder to do. Mm -hmm. So that's why he's a lot lower. But highly recommend playing Invisible Man. Although I did, I did actually have King Arthur at my forty-two. Um, you have him at forty-four, mm. and I have Jekyll at forty-four, and you have him at forty-one. So yeah, I have Jekyll a little higher, um, and we'll go ahead and get to that. So here's Jekyll and Hyde. I mean, there's obvious, there's the obvious reasons why he's the ability. Low. It's, His ability it's is the worst, worst in the game. Worst in the game. It's just a negative ability. It's a negative ability. And I think there's no reason for it. You know, um, if you took away the ability, he would be way more balanced. And more viable, right? Yeah, way more viable. Or make him a move three, stuff like that. Well, still, it's you wouldn't really want to thematic. move. You wouldn't want to move. Um, he, he's one of those guys that I think would be super fun to play if he got a little bit of a buff. Mm -hmm. Just remove his ability completely or, or change it a little bit, but it's really, really fun, very thematic to play, one of the most in the game. Or give it a positive, if, you know, while hide, if you maneuver, take one damage, but your maneuver movement is four. four or something. There you he's go. He's running around, right. right. He's, a, he's, he's like just jacked up on, on the juice. On the potion or whatever, right? <laughs> Um, now, the reason I have him higher than all of these is because he's if you he's hard to play, but he actually has a lot of auto damage, a, like similar to Invisible Man amount of auto damage. He's got a lot of healing as well. Mm 
Um, and if you get all of his healing off, he actually has a surprisingly large health pool. And he can hit And like he can hit else. really hard. Mm -hmm. um, so he can close out most matches pretty easily um, with damage. Um, and also, he can play a pretty decent fatigue game. He doesn't have a lot of card draw if you don't want to. I haven't seen it work it. yet. Um, it's in theory. It's theory. It's, it's always in theory. theory. It's in theory. It's possible, but um, I think just yeah, we gotta we gotta move on. <laughs> Jekyll. Enough about Jekyll, Jekyll and Hyde. You can talk about Jekyll all day. Go next. Here you that go. That makes more sense. Buffy. I wonder who's gonna be at the front of this one. <laughs> Whoops. Spoilers. Uh, so Buffy. Buffy. So. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, I actually have zero experience buff with Buffy. Do you want to talk about okay. that, Eric? Yeah. So she's actually really. Like the matches she's good in, she's really good in. Yep. She moves through fighters. That is massive. She can't get pinned. Yep. That's literally huge. can just walk around. Um, her sidekicks. It's it's a neat idea. She's got an option at the front. She can choose based on the matchup who she wants. Does she want Giles in the schemes, or does she want Xander and a little more damage, a little more defense? Mm -hmm. um, and then the biggest thing that she brings is area of effect damage mm, into a lot. So, really, like the matches where she's gonna thrive, are matches where people want to surround you and get you. So, it's gonna be like the Annie Christmases, mm. the which I haven't played this, but Annie Christmas, Cloak and Dagger, Raptors, mm. um, Jill Trent, maybe like like different different fighters that want to come pin, in and pin Achilles you. Achilles and Pat, maybe potentially. But yeah. like I think they're just gonna want. To so win. yeah, you know, anytime you want to get pinned. Um, those matchups, she's gonna do really well. And, and anytime there's multiple like fighters, it, it, she's gonna be good into uh, one HP sidekicks as well. Oh yeah. I think that the the problem with her is she doesn't have enough damage. Yeah. So she can always make a game look close. Mm -hmm. She can always kill all the sidekicks for sure. She can get you down pretty far. But in reality, but she can't close it out. It's not. Really it's not that enough close. exactly. Yeah. Because Mr. Pointy is just a five, and there's I think there's two of them. Mm -hmm. It needs to be much more than that. It it's just a blank five. Yeah. So, so yeah, she needs more damage. She needs more health. Uh, but it's a cool kit. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. Squirrel girl. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Sad to see. She's the people's champion now. I think. No, heck no. What no? are you talking about? I hate Squirrel Girl. What I do you love Squirrel Girl? Why do you love Squirrel Girl? Okay, let's talk about Squirrel yeah, Girl. Please tell me. She's so much fun. You, you know, know she's getting not, your, she's moving homework. your squirrels around. She's homework. Okay. Let me, move, let me move eight got, people on the board. He's upset because Nine he got wrecked <laughs> in the in the batter ladder by Squirrel Girl over and over again. But so did everybody, unless he picked her. Right, and, and so that's the thing. Why is she this low? If she, won, if she beat Spider-Man, if mm -hmm. she beat, who was her? Invisible Man, if yeah. she beat Jekyll, if she beat Bloody Mary, she yep. beat... She beat almost all of Everybody in the batter ladder. She was the best. She was easily the best. Uh, and here's the reason so why, why she's, she's yeah. the reason why she's so low, is because a lot of those fighters even so a lot of the fighters the few fighters that were close so um, Bloody Mary Spider Man um, Bruce Lee a lot of them can actually compete with higher level fighters right um, but pretty much everybody else can't deal with the squirrels. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde can deal. Jekyll and Hyde actually did pretty well as well. They can deal with the squirrels if you position them. Right. They were all solo fighters. All solo fighters. And they have a hard time with sidekicks. And mm -hmm. she has infinite, infinite sidekicks. sidekicks that are so many of them. Um, and she can use them to great effect, especially mm -hmm. people that don't have a lot of feints. So mm -hmm. a lot of those fighters right. don't have Two feints. Two copy feints, no feints. Or none. Right, so that's exactly right. So I think that she is down here because when she put her against the higher tiers. Everybody else has feints. She's going to get wrecked. Or ways to deal with the sports. In her own tier, she is possibly the best if you're just playing within the tier. If you're just playing down here, right. six to D and F, she's right. one of she's, the best. She's really good. Very good. But that's not what we're talking about. Next. We're talking about viable. That was good. Yep. Good stuff. Deadpool. Love Deadpool. Oh my gosh. I think he should be higher. Deadpool. I think he should be higher. Do you hate Deadpool? He's so annoying. He's just Have annoying. you only played against him? Well, first of all, should he even be in the tier list? Because he's not... Allowed in competitive play. That's a conversation. We're putting him in. Part of the reason why for me he was really low is because I just haven't played as him a lot. I think I've played as him maybe once, and I've played against him a few times against you. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just annoying. He's a fatigue monster. He's, He's very good monster. at fatigue, and it's has, so annoying. He runs into the same problem as Invisible Man in that he is, he yeah. can beat 
It, with fatigue, he can beat certain fighters, but then... There's so many fighters that can... They can go longer. That can still go longer and make him discard. And yeah, he, but he only has 10 health. He 10 can health. heal a lot. He can heal he if he's, he's, he's going to be attacking to heal. And there's nothing, there's no like, ex, there's not a lot. The the 30 unique cards, it's interesting. I yeah, like it. It's fun. It's he's super, fun. Th there's, a lot of people say it's inconsistent because like, that one card you need, are you going to get it? There's a lot of versatiles though. Right, there's versatiles. And it's like, okay, I know I can get, like there's this many attacks, this many defense, this many schemes, whatever. And he's got that crazy recursion thing. That he it's definitely an inconsistent deck. It's a very fun deck. If you haven't played Deadpool... Go play Deadpool. Yeah. Um, and do not play with the Logan rule. It's stupid. Okay, it's stupid. But every other thing, you can just make it activate and make it uh, that it works. Yep. All right. Next one. Cloak and Dagger. Love Cloak and Dagger. They are it, one of the most fun. So was, if you get their ability off, man. It's a disservice that they are. So low. As bad as they are. But I think, I think they deserve to be down here mm -hmm. because... They're pretty easy to play around. That's another thing, too, that you'll see here in fighters in the lower tiers is that with their special abilities and decks, we're not going to go into them too much, but um, their abilities and stuff are easy to play around if you know what they have. Um, and a lot of the other fighters, too, who can value block Cloak and Dagger stuff, right. very hard for Cloak and Dagger to get their ability off. It, the other thing, too, is that they're very easy to kill. Yeah, there's two of them and there's eight health. Yeah. That is not a lot of health. It's not enough. That is yeah. nothing. And they don't have actual healing. Like, they only have healing, really, if someone's about to die. They can heal for four points between the two of them. Right. It's just, they have to kill someone to basically heal. Yeah. Um, like, that's the most efficient way is to have someone at one health. You you kill them for their one health and then heal the other one the for, one that's for full four. But that's it's still, like, And the problem nothing. is, too, is if you kill one of them... Um, it's it's different than the raptors where if you kill a raptor, you still have two raptors and the raptors still have a lot of attacks, mm -hmm, a lot of weapons, mm -hmm. a lot of action gain, yep. ways they can win. And all the rap all the raptors cards are ennies. All the raptors huge. are ennies. Yeah, but some of these are only cloak, only dagger. Mm -hmm. Daggers, some of daggers cards do self damage. Like, sh they're, they're so squishy too. It's, it's, they're so squishy. There are some matchups where there is nothing you can do against certain fighters mm -hmm. and they will guaranteed kill one of yours. And there's nothing you can do about it. But the matchups where you win as Cloak and Dagger are very, are the most very rewarding. Fun. It's like you just are gonna steamroll. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, you took two damage. Okay, discard. Oh, you did. Okay, Arcane boom, 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 like, boom, boom, boom. Dump your whole hand. Just dump the whole hand. Uh, the thing that they struggle with is the whole set. The whole set was made and balanced within the set. Mm -hmm. The problem is, I don't know why. They were all given way too low boost values. Mm -hmm. And so because all of their boost values are too low, Squirrel Girl suffers, Cloak and Dagger suffers, and uh, Miss Marvel suffers. Squirrel Girl can move four, right. maximum. Max of four. They, they, they don't have enough Can't movement. They need more boost values. They need higher health. Um, yeah. and the squirrels have like four or five cards they can attack with. So even though you have squirrels spread out, you can't even. Anyways, we're getting back to Squirrel Girl. But that's why Cloak and Dagger. Yeah. Really fun though. They do pretty well. Really, really fun. T Rex. All right, Bruce Lee. So Squirrel Girl. <laughs> All right, Bruce Lee. You don't play him a lot. I don't play him a lot. I can tell because you have him very low. I have him very low, but I think he should be higher. I've played against him a few times, and I don't know why he was very low in my tier list. Um, but he should be higher. Also, interestingly, I have Cloak and Dagger one lower than you, and I think I like them more than you by a lot. You, do, you um, do, yeah. But I have them one lower. That's how disappointing it is. Because I, uh, I have Deadpool. Bruce Lee, I have four really? spots higher than you. I've got him at 33. And um, I I have lost enough times to Bruce Lee that I have to respect him. Oh, me too. I think Lu Lucio, Lucio, I think it's Lucio. Lucio has never lost to me when he has played Bruce Lee. He has gate kept me as Bruce Lee in the ladder. At least two times, maybe three times. <laughs> like I'm like, oh, I gotta get to this. Like, just gotta play one more game. If I win, I'm going up to whatever legend. Okay, yep. doesn't matter. Lucio's Lucio online. No. Hey, you wanna play? Yeah, sure. Lee. Sure enough, goes Bruce Lee. It's always Bruce Lee. He's very hard to play against. He gets he destroys. He can me. be hard to play against. He throws me in the pit. It just messes me up. Um, yeah, yeah. He can just action gain, action gain, and then. Yeah, it's 
the, the problem with Bruce Lee, and, and he should be higher. Uh, he's a great character, great design. He's a great character. The bouncy ability after your after your yeah. attack, it's so good. The only problem with Bruce Lee is that he's squishy. 14 health. He's squishy. No healing. He does have some good value blocks, some good value cards, but in general, he really can't block for, for too much against people that can hit a little harder. Mm -hmm. um, and also, on defense... Right, he can struggle into extreme. He can aggression. only block really realistically on on Sol is, is for four. So if you hit him for more than that, he's taking he's taking it. Um, yeah. And then the the combo is so good when you can pull off a combo. When it's like Jeep combo. I think that I'm pretty sure Point Dexter did this, where it was like the most damage. What's the most damage you could do? in a Bruce Lee turn, and it was like 29 damage. That's insane, you can just kill people. It was like, boom, 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 bring it back, bring it back, and it's like plus two, plus like plus one, plus one. Ninchaka. Yeah. Boom, boom, and with a freaking whatever, like a shift or something. Like, yeah. It was crazy. Um, so 29 damage is a lot, that would kill anybody. Is that combo gonna happen? Not, Not really. really. Not probably. Um, one of my favorite things to do, I'll give it to you guys, is a little nugget, because you're watching. Uh, Yenenga, Bruce Lee, you can win that matchup with only attacking like the very last turn as Yenenga. You can win that matchup as Yenenga? Yeah, don't attack her. Never attack, never attack Bruce Lee. As soon as the first Ninchaka, whatever comes, as soon as the first thing comes out, you, you just don't. If a Jeet comes out, you stop attacking him. Huh. And then you just... Defense, you have that nine points of auto defend. damage, so he only has five health yep, left. Yep, you just get so much auto. And you just wait until you can just, yeah, that's right, it. Right. Uh, all right, next. All right, next one. Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, I wanted to love Spider-Man, because I always loved Spider-Man growing up. Who doesn't love Spider-Man growing up? It's Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man, right? Um, the problem with Spider-Man is his ability sounds overpowered where mm -hmm. your opponent has to um, declare their value mm -hmm. right um, the problem is is that when you get into competitive play and people know the decks you can kind of already guess what people are going to play right at the time. we it have really help if you're in competitive play you have spider-man's ability in your brain. <laughs> or or pretty dang close. Pretty dang close. Within like 80% right. accuracy right. usually. And if it's not happening, then it's Maybe just a, it's a usually a suboptimal play kind of a thing. Yep, in which case you're not necessarily that upset. Right, exactly. Um, now, he, it's hard, now what is nice is that it's hard to get baited, right? Even, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to tell when people are gonna throw a, re let's reset it. <laughs> <laughs> hard to tell when people are gonna throw a regroup sometimes. Um, <laughs> Good grief, dude. All right, and. <laughs> right, Your grief. turn, go. Um, but basically, that's it. And then, other than that, his values aren't huge. He's got some yeah. good attacks. He's yeah. got good attacks. Three sixes, really cool. He's got two really good passes that are healing passes. Great passes. He seems like he'd be really good, but his, his the problem is his defenses are just not great. No feints. No feints. So he'll get all your effects, will trigger. Solo fighter, can't deal with, with large crowds. Yep. Um, yeah, and just he has a lot of card draw. Um, definitely so, some really fun matchups that to do with him though. Really oh, fun matchups. He's really fun and definitely viable. He can still he has the potential I think to be really good. Playing but, against new players, you will you'll do really well into them. Yeah. And, and then also new players. It's the, he's a great fighter to give to new players. Mm -hmm. Great fighter. For new you can players. start to see the patterns of how people play. Exactly. Um, yeah. Nice. All right. So let's move on. Miss Marvel. Uh, I played a lot of Miss Marvel. You really did. Um, he, she, she's very good. She has the potential. Bounce, move, range two. That's five oh, spaces. Dude. She's like when she came out too. We were like, oh man, she's like she, high A tier, super solid. Right? I thought she was number ten. Yeah, but the problem. There's such a problem. Is that she is very easy to play around. The map so. These map are, is uh, huge. Squirrel Girl, Cloak and Dagger, and Miss Marvel all require map choice to really be viable to do well. Miss Marvel is awesome. You get her on the right map, and she's awesome. There are way more maps that will ruin Miss Marvel than there are maps that Miss Marvel will do really well on. Yep. Um, so you need to have map to win with Miss Marvel. Mm -hmm. If you get map, 
Like awesome. if you're guaranteed map, I would move her to, to B. I'd, I'd move her to B, I think. Solid, yeah. She's got a lot of weapons. She's got a lot of very high attack values, potentially. Mm -hmm. Good amount of card draw. She can keep up aggression. She can heal. She's got great defense. So she's got some decent defenses as well. Definitely susceptible to feints, too. She's oh, like, and into melee, too. She's just so good because you're just going to be continually kiting your opponent. Mm -hmm. and right, so it's a, it's a two away kind of thing. It's great. You can attack a lot. And, yep. Yeah. But she just is really susceptible to map. Yes. Uh, getting screwed by the map. All right, and then finally, spoil. <laughs> if you guys are surprised, boy, uh, boy, bullseye. I was gonna say boyzer. I'm so. I tired. can't read. What time is this? Boyzer. Boyzer. <laughs> we got Miss Mo Mo Marvel and Boyzer. Miss <laughs> Marvel and Boyzer. Um, bullseye. We got bullseye here at the top of D tier. Um, I know this is low. This is low. This feels low. Looking at it, it does feel. Why is it that low? Is this you? And. Is this, is this uh, me? Is it both of us? No, I, th I think it's just... Oh no, we both have him at 35. Yeah. There's just 34 there's just other so many... fighters that are better. <laughs> yeah. So once again, it, his weaknesses are that he's just kind of squishy. He's got 14 health. Um, Interesting, we have him at 35, but actually... I can block for a max of three, right? He's actually 34 for us. Mm. He um, can block for six potentially, with, but he never wants to block for six. Block for three, basically, and only two feints. He can be... He can beat She-Hulk, but he can beat Angel a lot. Angel of showed us that. He can beat She-Hulk. He can beat Bigfoot. Angel oh. showed us that. Yeah. He can beat T-Rex. He like hard he, to do. He can do. He's really fun to play. It's actually from five spaces away. This is this is a good one for new players, but not if you want them to learn the game properly. <laughs> so, quick caveat. Uh, we know we have D and F T here, right? But really, what you should do is you should take basically cut off at cloak and dagger, I think, and then everything move up to C tier. Really, C tier, C tier, and B tier, and unmatched because of how balanced I think the game is now. Bullseye can still he's still viable. I do think yeah. If we if this is a five tiered system thing, then S is S, A is A, B and C are B. And then D is C. Is that what you're saying? Because that's, that's the way I, I think it would be, probably. Yeah, I would think so. Right. Um, but basically, a, a lot of these fighters who I know know they're in D tier, and it's really just for distribution's sake, so we don't have these lists going super yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really, these guys, from Bruce Lee up, are, are going to be competitive. Mm -hmm. Now, not necessarily have advantage or be favored in a matchup, but mm -hmm. they can be a serious that's problem. That's why you had seven tiers. I see what that's, that's why I had... Right. I actually have a more divided Seven, tier list. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't want to have so many tiers, but yeah, there's definitely a, a break right there. And also, it is not even for me. Okay. Uh, for me, it's more matchup based, so Bullseye still has a decent number of matchups. But we, we, we can talk about yeah. that later. Bullseye is great, though. Um, he's, really he's fun. super fun to play. Uh, wow. Deck order is super important for him. And if you don't get your schemes, yeah. you, you can't, yeah, pretty, pretty much, much can't win. Um, if you, it, it's one of those guys, it's just easier to play around. Um, don't let him win combat the first action. And you're pretty much safe. Yep. And then faint, save your feints for his second attack. Yep. So. And just deal, all you need to do is deal 14 damage to him. And there's mm -hmm. so many fighters that can just close it out. Yep. Um, very, very quickly. I guess that's right. We'll see. El Robinho. El Robinho. That makes sense. So Robin Hood Bullseye. Uh, very similar fighters, actually. I'm glad they're together because they that is, be. that's how they should be. And Bruce Lee, honestly, he should probably be a little closer. But a lot of these fighters, too, in our tier list were, were pretty much tied mm -hmm. in terms of their point, their score that we gave them. We kind of scored all the fighters. Um, but Robin Hood um, used to be really good and still has a place. He has some decent matchups for sure. Uh -huh. um, but once again, 13 points of health and no healing. Mm -hmm. Very squishy. Uh, good sidekicks to, to deal with that. We saw but... we saw a great Robin Hood game. Oh, yeah. Was did, that Zero? Did Zero go him Zero in pulled, the finals? I think Zero pulled out Robin Hood. He probably regrets In it. the final. Oh, no, no, no. Because he has a good matchup into... Uh, who was it? And... Uh, was it Black Panther? Mm. I, anyway, Zero pulled him out. And he almost won. Yeah. Did he win or did he? I have no memory. I think he did win, actually. He won it with was, Robin. It was impressive. 
Um, it was a cool game to watch. Might have oh, it was it was a final game. He might have won. One it was the very game. final game because yeah, yeah. Because I remember messaging the guy that he played against and saying, Phantom. Yeah, I was like, I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it I it made sense that the card that he threw was like. Like it could have been the five, so it made sense what you did. Yeah, something like that. I forget the, the I forget the game. I forget the, the whole thing, but like, it's a great ability. He's ranged. The yeah. outlaws are huge. He's still he, they, very overlooked. On, yeah. Um, still, yeah. But problem is, it's just if you can get through to him, he's dead. He's de he can block for three mm -hmm. max, and right. The three max thing is is crazy. It's huge. And if you can get rid of his outlaws quick, like, but super aggressive. Lots of card draw. Oh man, um, if you can keep up pressure, he is still very easy. And very you can good. attack twice in a turn and bounce away, and it's basically having three actions. It's insane. Lots of card draw on attacks, too, which is nice. Next. All right, Robin Hood. I want to play Robin Hood right now. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do, too. <laughs> Ooh, Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. I love Bloody Mary. Oh, me too, man. Dude, so much fun. Uh, and she's so close to being like a B tier fighter, I think. Yeah, she, she, so like Robin Hood, she's got a lot of good matchups. Um, and she's got a lot of bad matchups, mm -hmm. and she's easy to play around. But she's but, also so scary to play against. Yeah, that's the thing. Right. It's it's hard to quantify that, but she can. She is always dangerous. She's at four cards. You don't want to attack her. She's at three cards. She's at three cards. You want to attack her, but, but you know that she probably has a card that's going to let her stay at three cards, and now you're stuck. You're closer to her. You're next to her, and she's going to attack you probably three times. Right. Or um, or you know. Twice. I think that she's really fun to play. She could have used some more damage. She could have used a little, little more damage, and then I don't know, man. Be, she could do a lot of damage. Um, she could have used one more feint instead of one more trick of the light. I think that is also a big. That trick of the light is so good though into range. It is very it helpful. Defense. That's how you close that gap, and then they, and then they're like they're of no like oh geez I just attacked you. And now you're next to me. The mirror image is really good. She has two mirror images, two feints. Right. I think that's fair. She's got a good. She's, she's good. got. She's good. She's got all the potential. She, she just has to be played a certain way, and the she can be susceptible to fatigue. I think. Yes. Because absolutely. you're trying Definitely. to play more. She's got a lot of draw. card draw. Yep. All right. So really fun. Love Bloody Mary. Yeah. Very fun. Ghost Rider. I hate Ghost Rider with a passion. I wish he was an F tier, but he is actually good. Mm -hmm. Um. He's good. He's good. I used to hate him. I've really come around on him lately. Um, so annoying. Such awful games to play with <laughs> Ghost Rider. Uh, he, he does very well. He's got a lot of really good matchups. That's really what it is. Um, there's a lot of people who he yeah. just kind of hard counters. Yeah. Why, why are, are they good matchups? Why are they good? Well, why? Because of the room. Because he's going to room them because they have low health. But that's why he's such a good pick. Because it's not. You're not playing unmatched. You yes, are. Yes, you are. No, you are. You gotta play around Ghost Rider. And no. it's not like he's o he's not overpowered. He's not overpowered, but it, it's, if he was overpowered, then I'd have a yeah, problem. Yeah, the fact that the fact that he needs his Hellfire schemes to really do well is is really helpful. Like he needs Hellfire to do well. Yep. So he's gonna get that with his attacks. I mean, sorry, with his defense. Mm. Um, that's gonna he'll he box for two. He gets Hellfire, uh, and then his schemes. Those are like the main way he's getting Hellfire. Uh, has to boost a lot. Also, he, he's he is a he can be susceptible to fatigue once again. That's that's really his weakness. Can you imagine Ghost Rider versus Cloak and Dagger? Yeah. Dude, he just auto wins, dude. Auto he wins. Can't do anything. All he's got to do is maneuver eight times. Although I will say, I played Ghost Rider. Mm, actually, into, you could get smacked. <laughs> I played Ghost Rider into the Raptors. That's different. That was in, it was different and it was interesting. Uh, well, they have lower health, so it's like, oh, you can boom. Uh, I opened with the five, the the two, the was it the attack that just like nukes? I, I opened with the nuke. Sure, and you nuked. I nuked everybody because he because he came in surrounded me. I was like, boom. They're so all of us just got a room twice. They, right. Oh my god. But guess what? I was out of hellfire, so I just sat there taking hits. It was crazy. Oh, All right, that's a, that's a, so I'm sorry. So he's for that he's got <laughs> he's got a lot of potential, but he's a great counter pick still, and yeah. can make people think twice. He has about a place in the meta, and I don't like where he is. I don't like his place in the meta, but it, yeah. there, but it is there. But once again, it, his his ability is really good. A, it's just not a good Ghost Rider player. Vrooms a lot. Scares everybody. Oh yeah, no. Animal. Scares everybody, dude. Yeah, animals. Animals a great uh, Ghost Rider. He's a tool that I want to have in my tool belt that I can pull out. Animal is a tool that I want to have in my tool belt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's move on to the next one. 
Alice. Alice. Good old Alice. Where Ghost Rider is kind of a sneaky, conniving scumbag uh, who's controversial. Alice is... She's in your face. She's just... She is who she is. You are. You get what you get. <laughs> Um, the strong independent woman. I love Alice. <laughs> I don't, so we talk about her. Okay, so I love Alice. She's she's so much fun. She's so scary. She can hit like an absolute truck. Her ability is super fun. This little mini game where you're trying to line up her her big and her small. Mm -hmm. um, big Alice is still one of the scariest people in Unmatched because so many of her attacks are just insanely high. Um, and you can stay big Alice for pretty much as long as you want if you play Alice well. So um, she's one of those fighters who can close out any match with damage. Mm -hmm. um, now, only she has really two weaknesses. Uh, one is fatigue, and then the other one is multi-sidekick. So, uh, third is randomness. Oh. She has random. RNG, sure. She has some RNG. She can lose some good cards, potentially. Yeah. You, with your with your Manxum, it can be the most exciting thing and most rewarding thing ever, getting a four, or mm -hmm. it could be losing your skirmish, which I think is a one. Uh, yeah, and losing your skirmish is, is the worst feeling as an Alice player. And only two momentous shifts, right? I'm always, I'm always shocked by that. There's only two. Yeah, but it makes sense because there's sevens, you know. Alice, like, That's if true. you think about her deck, right, That's true. for what you're playing... There's a little bit of RNG, but she can typically make up for that, right? Mm. You're losing a skirmish, but she can make up for it with other defenses that she can boost with her ability mm. and other attacks. She's got two sevens, potentially two nines that are probably at least two sevens. So super fun, but just a little do a little bit linear. Yeah, not a big fan. Uh, Fatigue. A little bit maneuver, and she's just basically maneuver attack every turn. Right, and you want to stay big as long as you can. Pretty, pretty much. much, yeah. But she's super fun. Yeah. All right. Next one. Zero is a very good Alice player. Beowulf. Beowulf. I, I love Beowulf. Beowulf is my boy. Um, and he's good. He's, he's not great, but he's good. Um, he got nerfed a little bit with the Grendel getting, getting nerfed. Getting nerfed. Um, he's pretty passive. He can, he can, he's got a great fatigue game. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, with all the recursion guys, it's going to change everything. He's got a good amount of damage, an uncancelable attack yep. that can hit for eight, yep. two of those. He's just well-rounded. He's a well-rounded fighter, really fun. Wiggy's just a, a meat shield Dude, with no, like just with pretty much no shield. value. Um, and people don't want to really attack you because you have your rage. And, yeah, and Grendel can absolutely decimate anybody. Uh, yeah. Makes yeah. you think you, twice. If you are throwing a six and I Grendel you, that is game you are taking changer, six, right? Like it's that's huge. Yep, and I'm taking three. I'm taking three. It's like it's Be Beowulf is he, he's still viable, and I'd love to see him kind of return to the meta. He's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, uh, he definitely has a place, and I, we got to do some more play testing with him. We used to play him a lot. Mm -hmm. I used to play him a lot. I was never really, and it was more when I was first starting out. Um, you really just want to maximize your rage usage. Um, and I was never really able to kind of unlock his potential, but you got a lot better. So you I'd love to come back and, and give him another try. All right, Beowulf, Beow. Raptors. The Raptors. Oh man, dude. Okay, so this is one of the ones where we differed a lot. No, I, uh, I think. Nope. We're are exactly they exactly the same? The same? So all four oh, of these goodness. we are very very similar on. Like almost like like some of them are the exact same number, some of them are not. So the Raptors were both at twenty six on. At first glance, they may not appear like much. Mm -mm. But there are three of them, and they each have seven health. Once again, don't they don't appear like much? Right. But they can absolutely decimate an opponent. If you thought Bruce Lee could do a lot of damage in a single turn, the Raptors can probably do more. I would think. I think so. In a single turn, right? Yeah, it should be. Um, and the the thing about Raptors, which is huge, is that they can win any game. They can absolutely win. They can win any game. Pretty much any game. Just with action gain, with their ability, right. which is if you get surrounded, oh my goodness, and they catch you without defense. And and the, the thing is too is as far as aggressive fighters go, they are one of the most aggressive, if not the most aggressive. Yeah. Yep. And fighters that are susceptible to aggression, and include that includes a lot of top top tier fighters. They do very well in two, mm -hmm. which I think makes them a very viable fighter. They have a, a right. Much a lot of these guys. Are probably very, lose to the Raptors. They, they have a tough time with the Raptors. Yep. Strange. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, soldier. 
even that Beowulf can't win, <laughs> literally can't win. Literally cannot win that. <laughs> we ran that so many times. Literally cannot win that. Uh, you take Beowulf, have Beowulf go second. Which he's a phenomenal, he's a great have, fighter. Have Beowulf go second on um, the bronze. You're yeah, gonna, you'll gouge your eyes That's out. the thing too, Raptors with advantage. Oh my gosh, even worse. That was so painful. All right, All right. I'm getting flashbacks, go next. <laughs> The genie. The genie. Your, your home slice. My home slice. Not mine. So... This is a very big differ, by the way. These two fighters are probably two of my favorite. They're both in my top five. Yeah, you like um, action gains. I do like action gains a lot. Um, the genie has, once again, I like fighters that have the ability to win any matchup mm -hmm. if you play them correctly. Um, genie's a little bit more thinky than the raptors are, where the raptors are eh, maybe a little bit more a little thinky, but... Uh, the genie can absolutely decimate you, and he's got a lot of different ways to kind of organize his deck and change his play style to win a lot of uh, games. Now, you have to play him very well, and you can't really make mistakes, um, but he can, he's absolutely one of the most versatile fighters in the game. Mm -hmm. Can play a mean fatigue game, but really where he's best at is just aggression, drawing cards on defense, and then maintaining aggression, dictating the pace of the match. Mm -hmm. um, super fun to play. You feel really powerful as him. Doesn't have great. You will values. not feel powerful. You will. You will not. If you play him well. You will. Once again, you don't expect. Feel... Don't expect him to just destroy everything. Right. You're not gonna feel powerful. You're gonna feel like a pea shooter with a lot of peas. He does have a lot of peas, <laughs> but you can run out. You can run out a lot of fighters, run a lot of fighters out of defense, and yeah. just start sneaking attacks through. Or you can play for combo against certain people, and yeah. just, there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, I would, if I had to choose, I would rather play against Genie than, than as Genie. Um, but I don't enjoy either really as much. Um, I, I enjoy Genie. He's a, it's a clever fighter, well made. Um, His ability to change pace on. Like in a split that second is, is what right. makes him so much fun. I have him at 30, you have him at 22. Yeah, I have him much higher. But anyways, so partly because of his matchup spread, I think he has a lot of good matchups. Mm -hmm. And, and now, then, the, the, now it's yours. <laughs> the bigger spread. This is a bigger spread. This might be the biggest in the whole thing. And it shouldn't be as big as it is. We talked about it. Uh, you think it's high, higher now? I, I think Sattler belongs around here. Okay. I, I think this is, I agree with I have I have Sattler at 18. In the game, and you have Sattler at thirty-two. So yeah, she should uh, be higher. She should I, be higher. I like Sattler. She she's actually risen with the, more, the recent sets and stuff um, mm -hmm. because there's just a lot of aggression. There's a lot of aggressive fighters that are coming out mm -hmm. um, that have to fight, that have to attack pretty much, mm -hmm. and. There is no better counter. Uh, there's yeah. If, if someone has to attack you, Sattler is the fighter you want to be. Mm -hmm. Um, you have so much auto damage, and you have so much healing. Oh, dude, she's so scary she's to play against. She's got a good against. amount of card draw. I hate playing against Sattler. I love playing against Sattler. I um, hate playing against Sattler. Right, right. Playing as Sattler is, is not bad. It's not my cup of tea. Um, you kind of taught me some Sattler stuff. I had to play her last You, you won, right? You won your games. Uh, I think I did. You did. You, did some, you had some crazy stuff with your zeros. I remember that. We talked about oh, that. Oh, yeah. We ran did. a lot of practice with that one. Yeah. I think it was Bayo. Uh, it was against it was Bayo. A, it was a Bayo matchup. Um, and uh, yes, and, and Bayo is one of those fighters who doesn't really have to attack. He can play a pretty mean. Right, and game. so we had to try both ways. We ha yeah, we had to be and, and try to convince your opponent to attack you with different things. Which it worked. It was actually. interesting. It was very interesting. Yeah, it was fun. Um, okay, but I agree. I with love Sattler. I, I want her higher, um, but I'm fine with her being right there. Just because she's a little susceptible to fatigue, and there's a lot of good fatigue. She players. is. There are. That's true. All right, so now my turn. Yes. Finally into the B tiers. All right, we have Daredevil. Speaking of those fatigue fighters, uh, <laughs> so Daredevil, he's he is going to go infinite. He was the first infinite guy that we got that could do it super easy. Yep. Was he the first infinite in general? Yeah. Yeah, Luke can't really go infinite. Achilles can't really go infinite. Ah. They can't really go infinite. They, they really can't, because um, eventually Pat's going to die, and they're eventually going to draw. They're going to have yeah. to draw. If you were attacked by only twos forever, then you could just, sure, yeah, attack, attack, defend. And, but, yeah. So Daredevil actually can go happen. infinite and very, easy, very, very easily mm -hmm. in certain matchups. In a lot of matchups, he can go very easily. Faintless fighters, oh, man, do not bring a faintless fighter into Daredevil, because you will... It's almost a guaranteed loss. Yeah. 
Yeah. Except for um, like T Rex. Super aggr yeah. super aggressive. Aggressive again can can pull it off. Um and Yen Yen's a can, great matchup. Yen can win. It's very close. Super close. Um but once again, if you take it like you cannot take him to fatigue. When this he came out, possible. when he came out, that was, there was an uproar. Mm-hmm. Uh there was an absolute, I was part of the uproar. Yeah. I was furious about this guy. There, it is now, you can absolutely play against him and you can beat him. Um, and it, like there's an actual strategy, knowing that he has to come in and attack you to get his recursion. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna, he has to do it and he's gonna wanna do it when those last cards look really good for him. Yep. Like there's stuff like that. There's a lot of fun counterplay. Um, I don't hate him anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's just, he is a noob killer for sure. Yes, uh, absolutely noob killer, sure. But in competitive play, he can be played around, mm -hmm. but he's also, he can he can hang, hang with the best. And you want to have a fun game? Play low hand count Daredevil. Oh, dude, so much fun. Defense, offense. Yeah, that's the, the most fun. And it's the most fun. It's crazy, though. Maybe the best super way risky. to play him, if um, possible. All right. Next one. Little Red, oh my girl, she's oh, so low. So she is the she has fallen so far. Um, Little Red, the, the crazy thing is, of course, here, here's something. Really, when you start getting into this, I think section here, mm -hmm. and some and some of this too. Like actually, yeah, yeah, sure. These guys, they can, they can all win. You can win any matchup. They're all viable. They're all viable. Yep. You can win any matchup. It can happen. Uh, Little Red has so much auto damage, mm -hmm. and She's got great healing. She's got um, uh, un stupid healing. Dude. She's just got. She's she, such a tank. She is. She's got a really good setup. But uh, aggression discard. Um, that's going to mess her up. It's very very vulnerable to random discard. Not high. Yeah. She can't block for more than a four. Mm -hmm. um, Doesn't necessarily hurt her though, because she can heal a lot. Um, if the Huntsman's alive, if the Huntsman's dead. But if you can kill the Huntsman, if you can Houdini. The Huntsman has no feints and all the... That's the thing. The Huntsman has no feints. All the ability... That's probably why she's this low. That's, that yeah. makes sense to my... In my like, so I, I knew she was abilities. low. Because there are, some, there are some crazy abilities that you just two-shot the Huntsman. And then you don't have to worry about the, the healing. You yep. don't have to worry about the other stuff. Um, and then you just can outplay. Right. You can outlast. You have to line up your uh, abilities for Little Red to, to do well. And so and that's the thing too is her cards. If you know Little Red's deck well, which you should, if you're trying to play competitive unmatched, right. learn the symbols, learn what cards are yep. important. Um, know which symbol you should attack on. Know which one you should. Well, yeah. it's not really a should, but there's like there's different things that will happen. But understand what's going to happen. Understand the repercussions of what could happen. Yep. And she can be played around. Yep. But once again, she can be such a problem. Yeah, I, um, I really love her, especially into Faintless. Faintless fighter, she does very very well. Especially into Faintless. Uh, next up, we have. Dr. Jill Trent. Mm. So the first of the new Little Red of the of that's funny she's right next door. Yeah. The first of the Tales to Amaze fighters. I think I'm higher on Jill Trent than you are. Y you are. I have Jill Trent. I only actually only two spots. So I have her at 21. Okay. You have her at 23. Yep. I have Little Red at 19, and you have oh t you have her at 28. So that is interesting. Actually, Which is so, sad because I I love Little Red too. And I used to play her a good amount. Hmm. Um, but yeah, she's just, there's not as many reasons to pick her because, I don't know, we'll, we'll get into it. Are we Jill talking? Trent is so fun. One of, my, one of my most fun to play, uh, and she's gonna be at the top, easily top five of my, of my favorites. Um, she's got some Great. There's just so many. You can get the Wukong mind games if you're yep. if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> you uh, you can get you have a super tanky Daisy. Oh my god. Super tanky team in general. You yeah. get your recursion, um, and you're gonna be doing some interesting things. I, I played a I played Jill Trent into Sinbad. Really. Which is interesting, right? Because when when you're using your Hypno Ray Blaster. You don't. You just don't use it. Yeah, you just because only if you're attack with because buttons. literally if you're ever lower than his thing, you're just adding one to your card, which means you're just going to tie it. You'll never beat him with the open ray blaster. Yep. So you always put on the other one. But what if you want to faint? Well, if you want to fake, you have a faint. You could throw your open ray blaster on just to show that you have a faint, and then he'll be attacking this stuff. It's an it's a cool mind game of a, of a game. You will mostly have your healing thing up. Um, 
But because of that, your twos become awesome. Yeah. Oh my you, God. I, I did nine auto damage oh, to dude, my twos. He, he literally can't stop it. He can, but like, but when? very slim, right? You <laughs> have to, you have to pull your one, and then he pull a one. Yeah. So uh, I did nine auto damage, and Jill Trent died, or Daisy died early, on it. Yeah. So does Daisy die early? That's the argument. Is that's the thing? Is can she if stay alive? Can she Daisy. has no feints. It's the same thing. Yeah. She can block with fives though. She's got four fives. She's got card draw. With. She's got Daisy's a serious problem, man. I I, I love Jill Trent. Um, I, and I'm not sure we're, we're, she can move. She can move all around all, here. I think she'll be moving up, but I'm not assault, sure. Yeah, grain of salt with all the new fighters. But in our experience, Jill Trent, I think all the new fighters are going to be very solid. Very solid fighters, yeah. right? Dracula. Dracula. Especially when you're talking, if you're talking about fun, like, oh, man, dude, those new fighters Jill are Trent. all fun. They're so much fun. Dracula, okay. You talk about Dracula. Yeah, so Drac is kind of like my original main when I kind of first started getting into Unmatched. While you're doing that, I'll um, get water. Keep he going. is just a, he's just always a threat. Uh, and that's kind of a theme in fighters that I like. Fighters that are always scary. They're always, uh, um, you know, they always have the threat of they could either one shot you or do some serious, serious damage in a lot of different situations. Dracula has that threat with a cr unlimited auto damage um, and a lot of um, passes as well. So he can play a really good, a surprisingly good fatigue game. I'm sorry. Um, a lot of healing as well. Um, and yeah, his, um, he, he can just, he can do so much damage to you without ever having to attack you. Um, and uh, yeah, just a serious problem. He also can attack with one of the biggest attacks and best attacks in the game, beast form. Um, and so he's pretty much able to close out most uh, battles with damage, um, a lot of scheme damage, um, and then he's got enough passes and attacks um, that he can play his passes if he's able to attack with a lot of them, um, that he can play a really good fatigue game. So he'll damage you down a lot and then probably fatigue you the last two points, or he'll just end you. Um, the best thing about Dracula yep. is that you can He's one of the only fighters that you can just know when you have lethal. Yep. And so you can you know can, you've you won can the just game. you can just work around lethal really easily with him because you know I can attack for this much. Yep. You can just chip away at your opponent until they get to X amount of health. Exactly. And, then, and that's usually four. Right. Well, four yeah, four is guaranteed, but it could be even higher. It could be nine. It could, it could be, be higher. Right. Like okay, they're out of feints. Well, they're out of feints. Then, all I gotta do is get to the good hands. Exactly. And... So um, that's what he's. That's where his really big strength is. Is that he can just no lethal, yeah, and then get it. Um, he's super dangerous. Great ability. Um, only thing he really falls prey to is um, aggression. Yeah, lack of defenses. Lack. He doesn't have a lot of defenses. He's got some really good ones. <laughs> right. But um, yeah, that's the main thing. So very viable character, very solid. Nikola Tesla. So. Yeah, I've been playing him a little bit more than you have. Yeah, um, I don't. I, I, I like him, but I don't love him. Yeah, I've won a few, lost a few as him. Um, you look at his cards, you look at his effects, and they just seem so absolutely busted. The problem is getting your coils to, the timing of your coils mm -hmm. to line up. So it, it feels very much like an Alice game, but a ranged Alice mm -hmm. where he's doing. He can do an insane amount of damage, but he also has the threat of a lot of discard and random discard that yeah. he can throw in. <clears throat> so um, I think this, I think deck order for him is just so important. Yeah, but he's, it, he's still it, very versatile, though. He's, he's still you can you can draw a lot on defense if you need to, um, and keep up aggression. Um, he feels weak in the set, um, in the set of four, which is mainly what we played. But I'd love to play him a little bit more against other fighters and see, because a ranged fighter that has potentially three seven value attacks, two fives, right. some healing, potentially six discard, and three of which are discard that you can either add to your own value and discard before the person even gets to it. You get to look at it and decide if you want to spend a coil to discard it. I mean, he's got great cards. Great, he's he's great got great cards. cards. But I think also he may fall prey to something like Houdini as well. Like Houdini needs all of his cards. Tesla's gonna need pretty much all of his cards. The coolest thing about 
Tesla is that every card you have, there's like three choices, right? Every card yeah, has three choices on so it. So much options. Yeah, so many options. No coil use, one coil use, two coil use. And every single one of those has that. So it's a very versatile in that sense mm -hmm. and a lot of fun to play in, in options. I just feel like there's always a lack of coils. There's always a lack of coils. So the key you, you get, be, yeah. you, you're gonna get. I don't know. Maybe maybe like five times a game, you'll get the, that moment where you get that combo, and it felt so good. And then you're sitting there, and you're waiting. I guess I guess it's a time to rebuild and just get up your your coils but, naturally. But once again, but then yeah. you're just being attacked. Like I, I think don't know. I think the set too. I think Trent. Christmas and Golden Bat actually do pretty well into Tesla. Yeah. Um, so, and a lot of the top tier. We've only ever played him also against other like top tier fighters. We haven't really played him against mid tier and. Oh, I think yeah, sure. He top. probably he probably he can do really well. Mess him up. <laughs> so I think he I think he probably belongs up here. Also, he is anti melee like for real. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, unlimited auto damage if you're next to him, and he gets to move you away, and then he can just attack you twice. Yeah, you know, like yeah. move you one distance, and then you still have to maneuver anything. with sevens. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, with two sevens. He's so good. He's going to be very good, I think. Muldoon, my boy, my home skillet, my home slice. Mm, yeah, uh, we'll talk about him. <clears throat> so Robert Muldoon, so Come annoying. On. Move three, dude. Move three. Three double ri workers, both range. All ranged. Yeah. You can bring back the workers. Nine workers total, range. Range, range, range. Traps. I lo it's incredible. Like, um, why is he this low? What the heck are we looking at? What no, no, no. He should, in my what opinion, are we looking he's at? higher. I have him higher. I have him lower? You have him probably higher, lower than me. No, you're right. Yeah, I, I, his matchup spread, he's got to be higher because... His matchup spread is so. Are good. fighters just? Are we just getting really good fighters coming up? Is that what's happening? There are a lot of really good fighters now. That's, so that's the main thing. Yeah, Muldoon is great. He's really good. Um, he's Still one of those guys pushing. where the, the matchups he's going to win. He's going to win really well. Um, he can win. I, I feel like he can win any game though. I really do. So no, he can't win any game, um, but he can do. He, he can do very well into okay. most people. Who, who who's gonna who's gonna destroy him? Destroy yeah. him? Yeah. yeah. Well, because if, it, if it's can win any game, what I said, yeah. that means he can go close with anything, like 50, 50, 45, 55%, right? Like, that's that's winning every game. Who's going to destroy him, hmm. in your opinion? Destroy, destroy, destroy. Um, yeah, that's a good question. I don't think he gets destroyed. Even into the top tiers, it's still like... I don't know, man. Ghost, uh, besides Ghost Rider. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, no, because uh, he doesn't, because he traps. Wukong is, is pretty bad. To play into him? Yeah. That's interesting. We, we should too. run that. We have. We did? Yeah, it, it, was, it was really interesting. So it felt really close the whole game. And uh, you got some damage in on me, I think. But I can just heal, heal, heal. And then the very end, uh, you were way closer to fatigue than I was. And you still had, like... Two six, traps, whatever. Six traps on the board. Right on the traps. And I just, I popped like five traps in one turn, and then I killed you like yeah. with fatigue in like one turn. I did right. like eight points of damage to you. Yeah, you can't see that many traps though. Interesting. Okay. So, but I, I think he, he's viable. I think he can work in uh, any matchup. Yeah, harder to play, but really, really good. I think he can, I, I think you're right. There aren't many, if any, matchups where he gets ran over. You just have to be careful with your traps. Don't have too many on the board. Mm -hmm. um, it can definitely uh, go against you. Can Ghost go against Rider you. can be. But not, it's not easy. We've run it. Why is the Black Panther this low? That is outrageous. Uh, <laughs> I have Black Panther at 16. You have the Black Panther at 25. So why, is he, why does he deserve to be there? So my problem with Panther is... Um, if you can get damage, he's very susceptible to auto damage. Um, he does have a, like two points of healing, but if you're not attacking him, um, you can do a lot of damage to him. If you're not attacking him, well, like if certain fighters can can definitely like just so like Ghost Rider does pretty well. Fighters that hit huge also, where you have to use your uh, Wakanda's on defense and boost. That really sucks for you. Um, 
Now, he can take a lot of your cards. So he, he can actually play semi-decent fatigue, but that's not where he's best. Um, and I don't know. I just... Dude, I think he's... I think he's arguably best at fatigue. I love him at fatigue. He, he's a, he he, he is my fa one of my favorite. Yeah. Man, I could take your cards. Uh, Give me your cards. He does very well into certain very good Give fighters too. Give me your too. cards. Like uh, Yen and I don't know, but like. And the thing about here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. Here's the thing. Ready? If he had the thing that said take take two cards, and that was his whole thing. He gets two two of your cards for the whole game. Super RNG. Mm -hmm. He can take ten cards. Yeah. That's, that's like that erases the RNG pretty much and becomes I'm getting a third of your deck. Yeah. And so it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel inconsistent. It feels consistent. Um, and once it, he's got that problem for me though that like he's always close. He he can win absolutely. He can win most matchups with he can do an insane amount of damage. Um but if you're able to kill Shuri, which sometimes it's Shuri. Yeah, whatever. Sure. Shuri. <laughs> if you don't get one of your Shuri schemes off, yeah. it becomes a much, much harder oh, for sure. game. For Shuri. Um, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I think certain fights, so like Tesla, for example. Uh, Tesla, I think, is going to do very well in the Panther. We should run that. He's got random discard. Uh, now Tesla's got some high boost values, though. <laughs> yeah, give me your fours. Thank you. Merry Christmas. You're done. Mm. Done. But Tesla can hit. Very hard. That's the thing too. Is if if you can. I just, think Tesla suffers more with losing his cards than Panther does. Than a lot of fighters. I think he, those cards are so so crucial. Yeah, That'd be interesting. That's so Tesla that's crazy. A lot of, we Tesla can that. kill. We can run that. Can kill yeah. can kill Shuri probably like that. That's true. That's so, true. And only really two fans. Fun. We should run that one. It'd be really fun. Uh, Black Panther's great. Yeah. He's he is too. Low. He should maybe he's be a little higher. He's criminally low, but he it's fine. Maybe a little it's higher. Fine. You can have him low. My it's interestingly I had Robert Muldoon. Low, and you had him higher. Like, this is just swapped here. Yeah, that's really weird. interesting. Sinbad. I don't play Sinbad. I don't like Sinbad. I don't... Like, I, I, I like Sinbad. I don't play him. We try, We did this. He's, we found this out, like, a while ago. He's not... He's not, like... He's not exciting. But he's good. He's just very strong. He's strong. He, he is consistent. The most mobile in the game. Yep. And the lowest boost values in the game, which is now a great thing. Yeah, it's a it's an incredible <laughs> thing to only have one value boost. Um, um, that'd be an interesting matchup too. I think Sinbad wins that though, like against Black Panther. Maybe I don't. He know. destroys Black Panther. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I think map map matters huge. He does really well into a lot of the really good fighters too. Um, yeah, so, uh, some of them, eh, but like. Even Wukong, like, it's hard. It's very hard, but it's scary. Wukong's got no feints. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get yeah. your voyage home guaranteed. Right. Well, and you could you could attack. Oh. The, you could attack a clone each time, right? You attack a clone, kill the clone. Attack the clone, kill the clone. Attack, and just and lots do that of movement. And do that to where he never has any clones on the board. Yep. And then once you build up your your vo your your stuff. Attack. And you can Although draw, I guess you just don't get the zeros. Uh, that's interesting. We you can play. draw a lot. That's the thing too, is that if you're going against someone who can withstand the onslaught, you'll just you will fatigue out. You mm. have so much card draw. But if you can keep attacking, it's a lot of passes that you're playing that you're attacking. You're a lot of attacks that you're not drawing with too. Right. Yeah, it's a good idea probably. We should move them as they're done. Um that just feels right, you know? Feels yeah. good. So here we go. We have Winter Soldier. You play him more than I do. Yeah, I I love I really I like play him. him a good amount though. I like him a lot, and he's got some great matchups. Yep. Uh, he is. It's between him and, and Daredevil for the most, uh, the most infinite potential, right? Hundred percent him. I agree with that. Now, when they did the Winter Soldier or Daredevil matchup in the match of the month, do you remember who won? Daredevil, I think, right? I don't remember. I, um, the, I think the reason is because I think Daredevil did win. I Daredevil think. can consistently put out more damage, right? And it's less detrimental to him to do that. Yeah. Whereas Winter Soldier, it actually hurts him a lot to attack, or it can. It hurts him a lot to attack. Yep. It can really hurt him to attack. Um, <clears throat> I like Winter Soldier a lot, though, uh, and 
he such an interesting character. It, it such is. good attacks, but like you can't use them. <laughs> it's, it's almost like yeah, it's like don't throw it because if you throw it, you're not maneuvering twice. And if you're not maneuvering twice, then you're probably gonna get run out of defenses. Yep. And if you're not out of defenses, you're dead. So it's it's such a tight. You're walking this tightrope the entire game. You're walking this tightrope. Um, his effects cannot be canceled, which is which insane. Is bad and good. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed Wily. Every time. Every time. Guaranteed Wily. Uh, guaranteed recursion. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed healing. Like if if you if you won the combat, mm -hmm. um, effects cannot be canceled. When you go to an item map, um, oh uh, dude. You, can't they can't items. cancel them. You throw a plus two on your heal, three, like Boom. You, and you're, five it's value. a five value attack. Pretty much no one. You're going to win combat, you're going to heal much, for yeah. two. Uh, so he is he is a menace to so many fighters. He can win any game, any by, game. by basically doing nothing. He can win any game, right? Yeah. So because of that, he's, he's that high up. Now the, the, the reason he's not the reason he's not the best fighter in the game is because very susceptible to aggression. Aggression. No card draw. Right. Very little, anyways. Okay. Annie uh, Christmas. Annie Christmas. You can talk about her. I agree with this. Uh, so she is, oh my goodness. Okay, so what can we say about her? Uh, she hits like a truck. Um, she, can, she can attack for up to seven. She has three potential sevens that draw her cards. If she's able to aggress and pin an opponent too, oh my goodness, if she's able to pin an opponent with Charlie, she can just stand there and trade and she will win. She will just consistently be attacking for higher than the opponent. Mm -hmm. Potentially four six value attacks that heal her and Charlie. Charlie can attack for up to six. He has two fives. She has potentially three sevens. She has a good amount of card draw. She's got six auto damage. She's got she's got place in in any space in your zone. Move her and Charlie, and gain an action. Did you talk about the Mississippi's? Oh oh oh! And let's not forget the most busted card in the game for her. For her. Well, I mean, it's so interesting. It's such an interesting <sighs> because I've got, if you I've have got... to attack, if you have to attack her, it's the most busted card in the game. Yeah. So if you have to attack her, she has three defenses that are one value defenses. I think. Something like that. I don't know what they are. I think they're one. And uh, basically, you can't go below one health for the rest of the turn. Is turn. The, is the uh, yeah. immediately effect. Yeah. So if you play it on defense, can't be canceled. Because, you know, faint. Mm -hmm. well, if you attack with a faint even, it doesn't matter. Because mm -hmm. it's immediate. Defense. It's an immediately yeah. effect. If they attack you the first action, yeah. and you play it on defense, yeah. you can just chill at one health. Right. For the rest of the opponent's turn, and they, if they attack you, you can just take it, and nothing happens to you. Yeah. Your health can't go below one. Yeah. If you're already at one, <clears throat> so not only are you, you have fantastic value blocks uh, for healing, um, and a tanky, tanky sidekick that you can keep with you and use as a meat shield, and you can attack for a lot. You also have auto damage and three cards that essentially save you from death for three turns. So she's just, she's got a lot of weapons. Um, she can still fatigue. That's really her only downfall. If you have not watched the Andy Christmas Luke Cage match. Where? Uh, for Match of the Month. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. It, you guys gotta watch it, okay? Um, finish this video first, and then go <laughs> check out uh, Zero's video, but, because that was, that was crazy. Um, mm. It is, it's wild. I won't ruin it for you. Yeah, don't ruin it. I'm not gonna ruin it for you. It's, it's definitely wild. Um, I have her at 22. You have her at 13. Yeah. And I... Why do you have her so low? I had her super high. From our, after our game, I was we like... We played like four games and... I was, I was like, this is, she is busted. She is so strong. The problem is, I think you can just walk away from her. So I think that as long as you don't attack Annie... That is how I played against her the first few times. I just only attacked Charlie. That is the best way to play. Um, and I think you can kill Charlie that way. I haven't played her against her enough. She might be higher up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I it's still it's still I'm hard sure. to do that though. Charlie has a lot of good defenses that you can heal him and Annie. Right. So it's a cool. They're a cool fighter, and it's a really cool ability. Yeah. Um, it would be really cool to play her into fighters where you're getting your ability for a long time. Uh, like T Rex, She Hulk, T Rex. Yeah. Uh, 
Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider would be awesome. Because you're going to get Vroom. Vroom me. I dare you. Please do it. <laughs> you're going to get smacked. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Black Widow. I love Black Widow. You I love Black Widow. I also love Black Widow. Uh, why? She is, is, so... this just, is this just where she is? Yeah. I've got her at 15. you got her at 16. Yep. So... So it, it's great. it's interesting too because she seems so unassuming. She's only got thirteen health, and her yeah, her, only her numbers six. are low. Numbers are very low. But weirdly enough, she can play a pretty mean value game. Mm -hmm. She can divvy up damage between her and Maria very consistently and easily. She has three feints and three additional after combat cancels that right. are huge, huge. So very big and uh, very good at canceling auto damage. Well, three um, faints, yeah, right, three faints, three after uh, combat mm -hmm. cancels, and then three swaps. And then three swaps, yeah. So it's like, she has no She healing. can live for a very long time. You can, you can basically decide when you want Black Widow right. to take damage and when you don't, and when you want to give it to Maria. Right. And Maria also can be very difficult to deal with as well. She's got some, some pretty decent blocks. Um, and she has schemes that do either a lot of auto damage or um, a, a forced discard, or if you need to, you can use it for a mass card draw for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and depending on the matchup, you basically just recycle different missions with Maria. She's one of those that feels like she can legitimately win every any matchup. If you, yeah. She will ne this is the thing. She's a high skill ceiling player, uh -huh. uh, character I think, yep. and she is, she's never going to steamroll anybody. Ever. No. She will never steamroll any of these fighters, which is why it's sort of but scary can, to play as her, but she can yeah. win any game. She can outplay most people. Right. Most fighters, if you outplay. If and you also, outplay, then she and, will do, oh, she can win. Yeah. Then now, the one thing that holds her back too is that if Maria gets absolutely smacked, right. if you lose Maria early, you basically lost the game because you really need Maria. Mm -hmm. it, it, you don't, you didn't basically lose the game, but it, it is well, yeah, you, you can't swap. You're not getting your schemes back. Mm -hmm. You um, become blank threes. Yeah, it's it's huge, and you really need to recur correct missions to win games reliably. Mm -hmm. um, and she is just a very versatile fighter. She has a lot of a lot of purple. Uh, she's got movement. She's got auto damage. She's got also it's cool. She game. introduces the just the whole different way of playing. It's a diff it's a side game. It's a little side quest. Uh, yeah, the requirement schemes. That's pretty cool. Luke Cage. Luke Cage. We love to hate him. So he's very solid. Very strong. Uh, one of the things that really bumps him up very high is that he has the low boost value thing again. The low boost value thing, it hurts. It can hurt a two, but he has a ranged sidekick who's, who's very tanky. Mm -hmm. uh, she can hit really hard. He's got huge value, huge hits. Yep. Um, the, one of his drawbacks, why he's not higher, is that he has... So much. He can defense. easily he can easily get um, blues and reds. What, what do we call that? Do we have a name for that? Because we call ketchup and mustard for reds and for schemes and attacks. What do we call blues and reds? I don't know, but he can easily get also just get a lot of blues. He's got a lot of blues right. in his deck. Yeah, you can easily you can easily be pulling a, a thing. And you're just like looking at eight reds, and you're like, I have to go attack you, but I can't. Yeah. Now. He's sometimes fine taking attacks from certain people. In fact, against a lot of people, he's fine taking most hits. Right, that tanky just plus two. Very tanky. He, yeah. is, he only has 13 health and no healing, but it is a simulated 13. It is, it's really, it's probably more like 20. Right. Um, maybe even more. Yeah, take him to Slushy Town, get him to Slushy, and you pretty much have given him like eight health with that one three value health. It's crazy. It's like it's crazy. insane. Or nine, I guess, would be actually. Yeah. All right, next, Golden Bat. Golden Bat. So I, I agree with this. For me, the Golden Bat is the highest <coughs> uh, out of the new set. Um, because of his versatility, again, he's got the same, he's got that thing where it's like, man, he can win any matchup. He hits hard. He has recursion. Mm -hmm. He... He's gonna be no lots matter, of movement. Lots of movement. 
no matter who he's playing against, he is going to be able to... He's so scary, dude. Uh, right. You I mean, don't want to walk up to him and attack him, because no. you're going to get smacked. Yep. He's got random discard. Right. If you stay next to him, he is, he is happy. He's very happy. He's And also, that's the thing, too. If you run away with him, he will catch you. Yeah. He's got a lot of movement. He's a move three already, but he can also move anywhere. And you get to set up your deck. You get to customize your deck how you want, pretty much, with your with your schemes. You get to put mm -hmm. stuff back in. Uh, and then, of course, you can win the... The um, the other ones where you're going to get the the random, random ones one. back in your so there's there's a lot of ways to to set up your future mm -hmm. turns the way you want them to be. Yep. Do you want five cancels or do you want five passes? Passes that can or, teleport. Do you, you want five uh, seven value attacks? Do you want like do you want to mix and match? Do you want five skirmishes? Um, yeah, true. You could do, yeah, a, and a skirmish is not a bad Skirmish attack. is great. So it's a four yeah. defense and it's a six attack if you get it right. Like, it. So very versatile. Um, and he, it, it feels like, honestly, what he feels like is he feels like the way that Buffy feels when you get to look at your opponent and then customize your stuff for that fighter. Except he is a yeah. thousand times better than Buffy. Yeah, he's way better. And I, I agree with the statement. I think he is an incredibly versatile fighter. He reminds me a lot of Moon Knight. Um, mm -hmm. Moon Knight maybe being slightly better just due to auto damage and chosen discard where you get to look at the other person's hmm. cards and choose cards for them to discard. Uh, and Moon Knight also with his fatigue game uh, where he can take maneuver turns as Kanchu. Does Golden Bat win in fatigue? No, he does not. I don't no, think he does. not really. Like, it's very close. Though. He can he can play a decent one, depending on how you take your cards. But I think yeah. doing damn, he's more of a damage value guy. Houdini. Oh, love this. Such a good. Oh, I love Houdini. All right, you want to talk about him? Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Houdini. I've, I've been playing a lot of Houdini since he came out. Man, you used to play him a crap load. I love Houdini. Uh, he's so much. Fun. I used to play him. Yeah, all the time. I had him too high in my tier list. Yep. And I think in the winner of champions, where yep. I finished top 16, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, in the winner of champions, I I did the same thing. Discovered how low how, I had him too high. I had, I had him, he was, I was losing games He's because I was picking below. him. Right. He, I just needed to, drop, let, I needed to drop him a little bit. Yeah. You let certain people through. Like, I would let Bigfoot Achilles, through. I let Bigfoot, Bigfoot through a lot. Right. Now, that actually ended up not hurting me. I ended up doing pretty well and with Dracula. Yanenga and Wukong or something. Uh, and well, Wukong gets banned a lot. Okay. Um, but yeah, Houdini is just a serious problem. So much damage potential, uh, and also so aggressive. We're pretty much swapped on this, by the way. We are. We. I'm higher on Golden Bat, and you're higher on Houdini. Houdini. Yep. Whoa! What the? Heck? Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. By a couple. Um, and yeah, I just don't. I love Golden Bat though. I, I knew I was gonna really like Golden Bat, um, but Houdini is just. He's got the same thing as the Raptors, where if you you can win turn one, like yeah, you can have hit them for whatever nine damage turn one because you ran in there, took out their defense, and and then smacked them. What I love about both the Houdini and the Genie is that if you play them well, um, and, or. It, they just sometimes it feels like it, there's nothing you can do. Uh, Sinbad has that sometimes as well, but really, especially Houdini, there's a lot of times where you can just pull off these crazy turns mm -hmm. and crazy amounts of damage, and the other the opponent literally just throws up their hands. They're like, "Well, I, I, I literally couldn't do anything." I remember there was one time where I was Medusa, and you were Houdini, and you just happened to have like the perfect hand, mm -hmm. and you took. I had three hiss and slithers in my hand and a feint. Or no, no, I had two hiss and slithers and a feint and another defense. And you boosted and you were able to, you did some crazy turn where you were able to get rid of all my defense <laughs> and draw a bunch of cards. You did multiple, I think, for my next tricks. That's cool. And I, I had three defenses, which is about as good as it's gonna get, and you took my faint out of my hand, and there's nothing I could do. I'm like, well, and you you did like 13 damage in, in one turn. I was like, well. That's so funny. I, I have no memory of this, but I love hearing it. And I was so like barricaded in by heartbeats too. It sounds incredible. It was insane. It was like, it's like there's nothing I can do. That's awesome. And That's Medusa's so funny. arguably, we'll, we'll get to it, but 
Houdini is just so much fun to play, too. There's... He is so much fun to play. Yeah. He is so much fun. We, uh, All right. We, yeah, we got to move on. Yeah, but gotta... can't sing his praises enough. Uh, Achilles. 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 Uh, next. <laughs> uh, no, I love that Achilles. Um, I love I, Achilles. I do, too, man. I, I used to play him an insane amount. Lately, I haven't been playing him as much um, because I do find that he's a little bit easier to play around. Um, if you just know how to avoid Pat, basically. Um, yeah. But he is just so well-rounded. There's no, that's the thing though, there's no knowing how to avoid Pat. There is just being okay getting attacked by Pat every turn. You kind of have to deal with it. <laughs> and it's just, and it's then, so then it's something to kill Pat. And at some point you're just like, you know what? Now's I'm the time, I'm done with now this. I will kill Pat. And then you instantly regret it. Yeah, you're like, I, I just one Why turn too early, that? one turn too late. Like, there's. It's so hard. It's to a know. very interesting game. He just does so much damage. He hits super hard. He can. He draw. has super aggressive. He's super aggressive because he gets to draw with his winning combats. Yep. He can swing a, a game immediately. Uh, he has recursion. One of the first ones to really get that nice recursion. Yep. It's a great card. Um, it's a fun game, and he hits so hard. It consistently hits super hard, right? Yep. So, he's hitting so hard that. That's why, I mean, he beats Houdini. He beats, he beats Houdini. Yeah. He, he beats a lot of people with just, just, just out damaging them. them. Right. And, and he's so tanky, too. He's got such good value block and also just health pool in general. He doesn't have any healing, but he doesn't need right. it. A lot of health. He's got a lot of health. And he's 18, got 18 health with, and then a six health sidekick that no one wants to kill. Yeah. So you just, you just hide behind hide him. Hide behind him. And Pack and throw literally everything. And he's got auto Everything. damage. Right. Pat has auto damage, and he's got scheme damage. Should he be higher? <laughs> Achilles. Well, I have Achilles at nine. You have him at twelve. So uh, he's he's definitely top. He's probably he used to be top ten for me. I, I think he's right around there though. He's just so good. Other thing about Achilles, like Black Widow, is usually the better player will win. Yes. With this, I agree. with this, the the better player, not not necessarily better player, like just the better player in the matchup of like of their fighter. Whoever knows their fighter better, whoever knows Achilles better. Like it's a it's a definitely a skill based uh, fighter. He's he's also just like knowing timing, knowing positioning. There's a lot there. Um, but yeah. but yeah, it's just it's just good games. You always get good games with with Achilles. He's just never a bad pick either. Competitively, right. he's a con he's a consistent, constant. What solid I will pick. say also now, as you get into A tier, basically you're never getting a bad pick competitively. Mm -hmm. Even some of these B tiers. Yep. But like really A and S. Never a bad pick competitively. They'll pretty much always do right. reasonably We well. don't know enough about Annie yet. Uh, we've gotten Golden Bat in the ladder. That's helped a lot. Um, but still, Golden Bat is a mystery. And um, I, I think we haven't, seen him, the, we haven't well. seen him into the We haven't seen him into the big ones. We haven't seen her into the big ones. It's really into the big ones that we need to test, but yep. she's going to be a problem. Oh, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Uh, probably my <laughs> second or third favorite. I love Moon Knight. Yeah. I, I, I love Moon Knight. Maybe first. Even. I used to love Moon Knight a lot, a lot. Yeah. I, I think that the world is split in half, okay? The world is split in two. There's two kinds of people in the world. Ready? Yeah. Because here's the thing. Everybody loves Moon Knight. Everybody loves Moon Knight. He's so but there's good. the world split in two. There are people that win with Moon Knight. Yeah. And there are people that don't. I don't win with Moon Knight anymore. Mm. And I've met so many people that are in that same boat. And I don't know what the heck that is. It's nice over here on the winning side. On the winning side of, of Moon Knight? <laughs> yeah, dude. I, so, I, yeah. I think you've said it perfectly. Everybody loves Moon Knight. He's so versatile. And I lose to him all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I He's... lose to him all the time. And, I, and I'm not winning with him. Yes. And I love how I play him. I love how I play him. Yeah. Yeah, I think he, if you learn to just change it up a little bit. I'm too, con I'm too consistent with him. You, you got to go more, a little more aggressive. I got to be, you know what it is? Here it is. I'm too, I'm too zero. I need to be more Chad. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's got zero skater and Chad posters. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. No. What it sounds uh, like at that. Yeah, it, it basically, <laughs> so like, basically like, basically <laughs> like, I think just the way I, I think of like zero and, and Chad is like, Chad will take more risks. He'll he'll do more unique things. He'll switch things up. And, and that's zero, me too. Right, and zero is going to be like, mathematically, this is 
the right choice. Yeah. And so, like, I'll take the odds that this works nine times out of ten, kind of a thing. And I, I, and I think that's more of like my approach of like, okay, I will take winning more games doing this strategy. Now, does it work? No, because who knows why? I have no idea. I think it makes it's it's interesting too. And that's weird. You'd think I'd be that way, but I definitely use math. No, look at look at you. Look at your guys, Genie, Raptors, uh, <coughs> Alice. You you like just like the crazy like, let's do it now. Well, I like being able to f to use damage to to to, and I mean that's math too. But it's I'm not, I'm, so the math, the math con. thing was wrong. Everyone's using math, right? Find Chad uses math and... absolutely. Uh, Zero well, uses math. We're all using math. It's the, just a the difference. The problem is, I uh, well, the difference between you and me. I use math to calculate the risk and the win con, and you use math to calculate the optimal, the most statistically likely play. Maybe right. Maybe, and so maybe right. We calculate risk, and I use I really resort to mathematics when I say, I do I need to throw this attack here. Do I need to play this? Whereas you're more using math to statistically play, all right, based on what he has, what should I play? Rather than, is this the card that I need to play right now? I will say this, uh, I lose, I have lost a lot of games as Moon Knight because, and, and other fighters, because. You played I, Let the Insanity Got You. <laughs> no, I, oh my gosh. That's the worst card. I, I have played that, that before card and I have lost before. <laughs> So uh, bad. I've lost because I have put. I lost a lot of games doing this move, and this was in my last tournament. Yeah, it's it's the classic move of. If you have this card, you should play it. So you, if you don't play it, then you don't have the card. I do that all the time. Yeah, like if you have it, you should play it. You didn't play it, you don't have it, and I go like. I'm not like I'm not 100. percent I'm like a thousand percent, right? Yeah, yeah. Not, I've convinced myself that there is no way because why would anybody do that? Yeah. And I and I will do that with a lot of matches. So the the reason why it's hard to do that, that with Moon Knight is because he has so many options, and a lot of his cards can be played really well in two different ways, right? Let uh, mm -hmm. totally two, same two thing to do. Sense. Totally same thing to do. Makes a lot of sense to play as a defense and also as an attack. You know, like it's sometimes really hard to judge whether or not someone's going to attack attack with it or defend with it. Mm -hmm. um, and he has a lot of cards like that, where it's you could play either as attack or defense. Right. He has twenty versatiles or eighteen or something stupid. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah, he's amazing. And um, it, yeah, and, and he's got a natural flow too. The natural so flow much is movement is incredible. too. Like I've lost to Achilles. So many, or lost to Moon Knight so many times as a kill. She time. Hulk. Uh, I was convinced she was S tier uh, when she came out. Yeah, I think and, we both were. And then I've, I've lowered her. Um, I love her. Yeah. I've lost more games because of the, the deck order, RNG. Like, if you, if you get the, if you throw a, what is it? What's the Liberty? Statue of Liberty? Uh, Lady, Lady Justice. Justice. You throw a Lady Justice. That's the thing, too. Your best defense is also your worst defense. I've That's blocked for eight. I have blocked for eight yep. against Houdini before. Mm -hmm. And then I've blocked for two against 70% of the Sinbad. time. Sinbad, yeah. Well, oh, always Sinbad. Oh, and against like Moon Knight too. Like. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying like, like yeah. oh, okay, as long as it's not the one, as long as it's not the one, it should, like statistically, right? Here it we go. No statistically, sense. I'm hitting a three or a two here. And then it's you, the it, it's the one. And you're like, I just took so much damage. So that is too messy. Her defense relies too much on, yeah. It's on too messy. Randomness and her defensive values are actually not great in oh. general. She's got a lot of health, but um, her defensive values are not amazing. She's fun to play. She's super strong. They made a, a move to melee fighter work. Very hard relevant. to play. Very hard to play. Uh, uh, what, what was it? Um, Optimally, I, I think just I, just I because of the because of the la the Lady Justice. Oh, very hard to play against. She's very hard to play yeah. against. That's yeah. another thing. Um, just throw something is awesome. Throw it's such a good is ability. It's probably the best ability. I, I I love her. I want to play as her right now. I would probably only play 
Again, I would probably, I wouldn't bring her into every matchup. If you have too many ones in your deck. Boost ones? Yeah. yeah I don't know if I would hard. want to play against you. Um, maybe, maybe I just, maybe, you know what, you just change the way you play. You just don't throw ladies, ever. Mm -hmm. And then you just, oh, maybe you just throw ladies, actually. You just literally chuck them at them. Yep. And there you go. Really fun to play. Mm -hmm. Solid fighter. But let's get into the top tier. The top tier. S tier. Sun Wukong is at the bottom he's of the finally, S tier. He's finally in S tier. S tier though. is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fighters we have here. Uh, Sun Wukong is great. So he's much great. Fun. Fun. Uh, he's, he's toxic. He can be a menace to play it's against. Get out. <laughs> mess up your your brain. I love the games. Me too, dude. I love the Wukong games, the Jill Trent games. I love it. Um, um, yeah, I just, I love the the crazy, like, spread of cards that he has. He's got zeros and he's got sevens. Right. He's got reflecting damage. He's got preventing all damage. He's got movement. And he has the golden bat thing where you get to choose what you want. You want your sevens attacks yep. or do you want your you can phoenix yeah. or do you want your tortoise? Like, what do you want? He's, he's one of the few faintless players that plays really well. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to make your opponent use so many cards trying to beat him. Yep. And you want to faint almost everything that he has. Everything, yeah. The, except for the ox. And then, of course, that. you don't faint, don't faint the, the And then, ox. of course, you faint the ox, right? Yeah. Um, the mind <clears> games are so fun. So much fun. And also, his matchup spread is arguably the most dominant or one of the most dominant matchup spreads in Unmatched because... Basically, all melee fighters have an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. um, uh, every melee fighter has an uphill battle, and solo fighters have no chance. Have pretty much pretty no much chance. right. That bullseye. It did, it's positioning. Still, positioning. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I meant yeah. Solo melee is, is what I was talking is about. Zero chance. It's uh, so bad for you. Yeah, Moon Knight. It, like Moon Knight has so few bad matchups in the game, um, but it, all the Wukong cards are is all the cards are endies. All the cards are any's you can play with. It. The clones. Your are clones so can throw sevens. It's insane. You have three of them. And also infinite of them. What's really stupid is that he, he's also th by just engaging in combat with him, he will fatigue you mm -hmm. because he's going to make you play for ten of his cards. He's going to make you play two of your cards, and also you're going to be wasting cards on clones instead of on Wukong. I love Wukong. I want to play him. He's right now. so much fun. I love Wukong. Yeah, he's right. one of my favorites. Yanenga. So Classic. Oh my goodness. Once again, she, she's basically, she's very similar to Moon Knight in that she has, she basically can't draw a bad hand. Um, Quickly. Sure. So you have, you have Moon Knight at 8, I have Moon Knight at 12. Mm -hmm. You have She-Hulk at 7, I have She-Hulk at 11. Hmm. And then I have... Which is I funny, have, I don't play She-Hulk ever. I, I have Yanenga at four. I have her way up there. Yep. Which I don't know if I totally believe. Uh, and then, I, just for versatility is why she's up there. Yep. And then I have uh, Wukong at seven. You have Yanenga at nine and Wukong at ten. Yeah. So we have, have we switched? Have we done one of those? So, yeah, we're starting to switch a little bit more, but I, I, I think I agree with some of these. Um, Yen used to be, uh, I think she used to be top four, if not higher. I used to play Yen like crazy. I love Yenenga. I, I, I still love playing Yenenga. She's so good. She's so tanky. She can, once again, play a nice tempo-based aggression game, keep it up. Um, and she has amazing card effects. So many of versatile. auto damage, movement. Mm -hmm. uh, she can gain actions if she needs to or wants to, but also just mainly she's just such a tank. Mm -hmm. She's a ranged tank that can just corral you and apply. She can just pressure you constantly. Yeah, and, and, and the then thing. build up a big turn. She'll chip away at you yeah. easily, easily chip away at you and be able to heal and withstand just an unbelievable amount of damage. And if she has a fatigue <clears throat> game in her favor, then she will not do the action gains and stuff, and, and she'll, yep. she'll, she'll beat you with fatigue. And, and, and just the auto damage. Yeah. She encourages you to play two cards for her one cards. That's Can win any matchup, one of those fighters. I think the reason she's fallen, though, is because Faintless really hurts. Faintless is really hurting, exactly. Especially Panther and uh, Bigfoot. Speaking of the opposite of Faintless. 
<laughs> so faintful. Yeah, he is faintful. <laughs> uh, Bigfoot has five faints. Which and is super faint. Two of them are three values. So <clears throat> yeah, it's a. Uh, Basically, you, yeah. if you if you want to have it, if yeah, if you're going against somebody that that has a lot of great effects, Bigfoot's the guy to go. Bigfoot's a fantastic fighter to go. He's he almost can, never a bad choice. He can either. hit for six. Very mobile. Blocking for four constantly with all of his cards. So many fours. He has. I think we looked at it. He has eleven four value cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there's. It's insane. What's interesting is his ability is almost useless. Almost. Uh, well, in a lot of matches, it's almost useless. Mm -hmm. Because the, the number of times I have, I have beaten Bigfoot with fatigue because Bigfoot because drew twice, drew not one once. Many times. Yeah, he drew one too many is, with his ability. It's a lot. Same. Um, and that's always the thing, is that Bigfoot did his ability one too many times. Yen, and then, that's usually how I win and it cost as him. Yen. There you go. Like, he can faint almost everything that Yen has. Not almost everything, but like... He's gonna draw. He's gonna have to draw because you can apply pressure with the end. Now it's really good in some matchups where you really need cards. So like Raptors, and, and the aggressive fighters that are coming in to get you. you that's draw your cards. Yep. You're still gonna win because you're not gonna lose the fatigue against those guys. Um, it's an interesting setup. I, I think the other thing is like using your ability to me says what? What does it tell you? If I if I if I, if I run it away, you, you don't have defense. There you go. Every time. Every time. So. I ran away. I used my ability. Okay, I'm gonna come in. Hopefully, I get an extra action gain. I can and I can just hack you twice, um, or you just messed up. Maybe you just uh, did your ability, putting yourself to six cards, and I'm sitting at five. Now I want. I mean, it's just like okay, I'll let you do that. You can discard a card. I'll just I'll just hit seven. You go, overdraw. So I think that it's interesting. It's almost sometimes better to not use your ability. If you need defense. Right. Because... It, it, it could potentially be the, the winning thing to not draw. You also almost never I, I think I actually, I actually won. I think I beat Angel as he was bullseye. And there was a situation like that where like, I moved in acting like I had all this defense and I had nothing. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was a... But, but that, I guess maybe it wasn't the ability thing. Thing. But obviously the, the odds, though, are that he will have defense. He's got so many... Right. Personals. The odds are he has it. The odds are he has his feints. He has the fours. So when you, it's weird when you get those hands that are just reds he's and yellows. He's kind of safe to just, he's safe to bluff as. He's a very safe fighter. He's never going to get steamrolled either. He's never, I've never seen Bigfoot get absolutely destroyed. Right. A lot of great matchups for him. And the Jackalope is arguably one of the best sidekicks in the game. Six auto damage. It's so much huge. damage too that he can attack. Um, and then three sixes to attack with uh, for Bigfoot. It's a lot of auto damage just guaranteed. Yeah, T-Rex. Uh, T-Rex. Um... So, I think for me, she went up a lot just because I think the viability of aggressive fighters has gone up. Mm -hmm. um, she really doesn't have any bad matches. Yeah, I moved her up. I moved her up to five for me. Yeah, like she used to be kind of regarded as this exclusive advantage fighter, full advantage fighter, where you need map and position. To right, the right. But it's not the case. Right. Yeah. I mean, you have big values, and you also have auto damage. So you can yeah. deal with the loot cages, you can deal with yeah. the Bigfoots, you can deal with um, anybody, you can deal with anybody. Yeah, there, now there, there are a few people, I think, that do pretty well into the T-Rex. Achilles. Loot, Achilles, loot cage. Actually, Bigfoot is one of those that goes Bigfoot as well. Bigfoot is but, one of them. But Achilles is, is awesome. Uh, Panther's there. not bad. Panther's decent. Um, and then... Yeah, but but other than that, there's really no one else. That can, there's not many other people that can just kind of oh. that can hang. Oh, are we not going to talk about the uh, most obvious? Annie can do pretty well, also. Oh, Sattler, obviously. Sattler auto wins against the T. -Rex. Auto wins. Basically, you can't beat Sattler. Just maneuver away. You will kill the T. Rex. Yep. You will um, win. Yeah. Um, so, so higher. Uh, she Hulk would be interesting. <laughs> also, do we have we run it? I have. It's a very good match. Yeah, yeah. Very exciting. Because huge boost value, so your liberties are awesome. Your, your lady yeah, justices are lady awesome. Justice. Uh, you're throwing stuff. You can maneuver away. <clears throat> you can heal up. You actually want to use your your heal to draw two in that matchup. Uh, you actually want to potentially use your your uh, two. Alice and Moon Knight are defense. also not terrible. The, the T Rex yeah. though is just spread. so dominant. Like they they'll she'll just run away with it if and you can attack up to two spaces away. So 
if someone's going to attack you with melee, they have to move they into have, you. Yeah. And then sit there, sit there. So it's, crazy. it's crazy. Uh, but again, no faints. So that is it's, it's something. Yeah. Doctor Strange. What number is this? By the way, we're getting. Man, it's late. All right. Yep. We have four left. Four left. So number the, five. This is number four. Sorry. This is four. Oh, this is, so, there's three left. Yep. Okay, I think that makes sense. Uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, I actually would put him slightly higher. I think I put him at three. You put him at three. I put him at six. Um, um, so I I'm definitely more of the strange player, I think, yeah. of the two of us. You are a very strange player. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he can basically infinitely recur whatever he wants. It does cost him one damage to do so. I've never been more frustrated... Yeah, he's a frustrating. It, you know, being melee into into strange, you can't. It's it's almost so impossible. Frustrating. Now there are certain fighters too that can that can hang pretty well with him. I think She Hulk, Achilles, um, is is decent. Moon Knight is de is very decent. Um, and then yeah, like a lot of the top tier fighters like do okay, but it'll feel pretty even for like the first half of the game. And then he'll just start to run away with it. He'll just start to, he'll he'll be he'll have recycled all the cards that he wants to keep, at that point about halfway through the game, and he's only going to be playing good cards for the rest of the game. Uh, and the amount of healing that he can pull off is unbelievable. He he does a lot of self damage with his ability, but he can heal it all back and more. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, and he can so not only is he he's got the he's got infinite recursion, which makes him already a, a pretty solid fatigue player, um, a, a very good fatigue player. But he can also he also has four double passes, which is crazy. It's basically like having four uh, vanishes mm -hmm. from uh, yeah yeah uh, Invisible Man. Yeah, where you, you can, can put cards back into your right, deck. That's huge. Like from your hand. Without even having to like play a card to return, and it's the, their schemes. Yeah. So um, he's just he's so dominant, and if you're if you let him dictate the pace of the match, that's the big thing. Is if you let him just attack, 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 and keep a massive hand, he's going to keep you at a low hand, and then he's going to start to just sneak damage and healing through. And he's a serious. He can do that to I think if, most people. Yeah, I think that if one great way to beat him is to have. A bunch of four value blocks. So Yen does you know, really well in the strange, I think. Four value blocks. Um, and then he's taking damage. If he's doing the recursion, he's taking damage. Oh, so yeah. you're, it's risky. It, yeah, his health is going down. If you can time it right, then you can um, You can definitely take him out. But Oh, he's, he's, not, he's, he's, he's not invincible, but he is just one of the most, like, one-sided fighters. Yeah, he's got the two cards that um, impossible to see, basically whatever you want to call it. And he can get those back. And he's got, and you've got the um, three Mists of Manipur, which are uh, going to make you discard amazing. your card. So you, you, you got the two that make it where your value is zero. <coughs> you've got two feints. You have three cards that are going to discard your defense and then make you play the next one, which I actually, I like it when he has that and you're attacking with a small thing. It gets, it's very faked out, right? Yeah. But what if he threw a big one? It's yeah, awful. Yeah, he's got some RNG. It's awful. Which makes him, I would get, I would say definitely not. I used to think when he first came out and started, I started playing him, I was like, he's a new best character in the game. Yeah, we had him tier um, one, both, or, or one overall. Like, he's, he's very, he has the potential to beat all three of the next top tier fighters yeah. very easily, but, um, yeah, we'll we'll talk about All it. Right. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. So this is one where could he be lower? Yeah, maybe, probably. probably. He, he he's one of the ones that's going to suffer aggression. He can lose to Houdini. He can lose to T Rex. He can lose to Doctor Strange. Like all these guys are going to be good into him. Mm -hmm. He can lose to Yenenga, although it's it is tough. It's more even. Um. But he's just, he's just so easy to pilot. He can just pull out anything also. He can just absolutely screw you your hand. over. Let I don't take like out your it. cards. I don't like it. Let me get take, rid of I'll it. have you take damage for the, for the <laughs> card you have. Uh, let me heal a bunch. Let me attack. You can't affect, uh, can't cancel my, my effects. effects. So I can attack you with 
Like, on, again, the item maps with, like, Winter Soldier, it's, it's huge. Oh, my goodness. Uh, lots of healing. Lots of passes. So, great fatigue game. Yeah. Um, and he can literally just... He's one. He's basically, like, Sattler just double every way. everybody. Except he can pass with a bunch Except of passes. Except he can also... He has, like, yeah. nine... Seven passes or something. Which is why Sattler is so good into aggression and, and Sherlock is so not good into aggression. Because... Yeah. Because of the passes. The passes. Because of the, because of, yeah. Exactly. Anything else? Um, no, not really. I think he could be maybe lower than Strange, but he's also just, he can just absolutely dominate. Electra. Um, you, you, you know her. You know her. She's right. a, you guys all she's know annoying. Electra. She's very annoying. Um, she can have up to 40 cards that she can play. Yeah. Which she can have up to 12 ninjas. Other than the infinites, who... Honestly, Daredevil does pretty well in Elektra, but I've seen Elektra beat Winter Soldier quite a bit. Twelve ninjas, she can swap around with them. Yep. Uh, you have to kill, you're pretty much going to have to kill the ninjas to get to Elektra. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and when you do finally get to Elektra, she's going to... She's already, she's gone through her entire deck and she's, she's just taking fatigue damage at that point. So she doesn't care. She doesn't care. And she's got some really solid, she's got a couple decent attacks, very consistent deck because it's a very small deck, but she gets it twice, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, so, yeah, four feints for six value attacks, potentially. Uh, and then also she can combo off if she... If yeah, you, that combo. You let the Looking hand, at your hand, take out what you want, take two cards, gain actions, boom, 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 boom. Then attack five times with your... Well, not five times. With four one times, card. With four your times ninjas, with one bah, card. Bah, 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 and then you bring up... Yeah, yeah, it's, That's the thing, too, is it's four times with one card, and then you get to play it again. So maybe six times per yeah. life. So it's an extra, almost a, an like an extra ten cards basically. So you've got like a fifty card deck. Basically. Yeah, I don't I don't hate her. I don't hate her nearly as much as everybody else hates her. Um, no, I don't. She's she is kind of fun to play, um, and she's not unbeatable. Um, Houdini does pretty well. Uh, Yen does very. Well. Winter Soldier is a very fun matchup. I don't know if you ever played that. It's, I have I just a few did, times. I just did it recently. Very very fun matchup. Uh, I think Electra the ninjas, can win. The ninjas are not... Um, Little Red can win that, too. Very fun matchup. True. The, the ninjas are not... They have no feints. Yeah. They have, like, basically no defense. So... Yeah. So... Chances are you're gonna... You're gonna get whatever effect you, you're trying to get off. So Strange will win that, obviously. Daredevil will win that one. Um, Sherlock can win. Daredevil is very easy to win with. Yeah. Black Panther also is... Well, we tried it a couple times. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's so close, just close but enough. she's definitely favored. She's definitely favored, even if you pull out some um, great cards. But she just she it's very hard for her to lose if you if you just play her boringly. I don't hate her as much as everybody else hates her. I, I don't I don't either. Actually, like she's she's fun. Um, and Winter Soldier too. It's cool because it forces you to play aggressive Electra, which is fun, mm -hmm. like reasonably like mm -hmm. moderate right. Electra. And then final Medusa. Medusa, the o, the OG number one, uh, she still remains. I think she's top back the on throne. top. Um, she's ranged, sixteen health. She's got six discards. Um, she can attack for seven. She can also unlimited, attack for even unlimited more. auto damage in her zone. Auto damage is the that's the biggest thing, right? Her her, if someone comes in, uh, and they stay in your zone on your turn, if you positioned well, then you're gonna give them ping damage, and then you can glance them, so you can do. Yeah, you, you can, can basically do. You can do. I mean, if you don't do five, five in a damage turn, damage without attacking guaranteed right. in a single turn. In a single just turn. ping, glance, glance. If right. you need to, she basically is just. She her sidekicks are really strong. Are very strong, for what they are. Um, they force you to waste cards on them, mm -hmm. and then they force you to waste, basically double the cards on them mm -hmm. because they have discard. She's she she got she blocks for four. She basically just has she's almost a, no bad matchups. Right. Ghost Rider's one. But not but even then it's it's winnable. It's still like that's the thing is she is probably favored or or 50-50 in every matchup. In every matchup. Yeah. Um and usually favored. Um just because it's so hard to get to her and when you do finally get to her, you're going to pay. Yeah, I think there you have it. There you have it, guys. Um, we have 
our six tiers. What do you guys think? Where, where do you strongly disagree? Where are we wrong? Where are we like confused? Where are we, what, what are the matchups that we just haven't played enough? Like, oh, this fighter needs to be higher because of this, 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 this. I mean, the way I look at it is like, if this fighter is good into all these, then this fighter should be higher than these, kind of a thing. Mm. Um, or great into all these. Like how many matchups can they win that are, that are high tiered matchups? Mm -hmm. And that's gonna bump them up higher. That's yeah. the way I look at it. Yeah, and I think what you really, it'd be really interesting to do, the way that I kind of ranked mine was I kind of judged each fighter against every other fighter. Um, and most of these guys do very, very well into all these, mm -hmm. but how well do they do into each other? Th these, these are, you know what right. it is? You know what it is? Here's, here's what it is. I love Genie Man. This is matchup specific, matchup specific, matchup specific, matchup. Like these, these are all very good. They're strong counterplays. To a lot of these. These are just versatile, versatile for the most part, right? Versatility yeah. rules. So versatility yeah. is going to get you higher up the rankings because you're going to be better into more matchups. If you, yeah, that's that's a trend. And that then you can see for and then sure. the counterplays are going to steamroll yeah. certain matchups and then usually get steamrolled in others. Yeah, you're yeah, going to have you'll be more swingy. I, I think you're right. I, I think if you're new to unmatched, um, which. I remember when I was doing Unmatched, the first, one of the first things I did as I started to get into more competitive was look at materialist video. Mm -hmm. um, definitely learn this. This is going to help you as you start to play and you want to get more competitive. Um, find fighters that you like that, are, that have potential, that are viable. And, and this is interesting. And that are versatile. Right, that's, right. That's the biggest thing. This is interesting. Ready? Okay, look at this. And I want you to choose, if you had to choose a tier to play as, which tier would you choose to play as? Don't say it yet, we're gonna get pick at the same time. Okay. Like I've gotta spend a day playing as all these fighters. Which mm. one are you gonna have the most, which one are you gonna want to play? Which one are you going to choose to do? That sucks, dude. That's tough, man. Um, <clears throat> I know where you're going. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm probably going A, you're probably going B. 100%. Yeah. Black Panther, Muldoon, Dracula, Jill Trent, Little Red, Sattler. <clears throat> and that's hard for I'm me I'm in too. heaven. I, I like playing Panther. I love playing, uh, I like playing Tesla, Dracula, Jill Trent, Little Red, Genie, and Raptors. Those are some of my favorite, favorite fighters. But I do feel you like wanna I wanna win. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd miss out though. Like I would miss, I'd look at people who are playing yeah, Soldier Black Widow. Widow. Christmas, uh, Golden, Golden Bat, Bat Houdini, Houdini, Achilles, Achilles Moon, Moon Knight Shield, A. Like, oh, like, A is so it's, good. It's got to be A. But you know what? This is what's so interesting. S is for you guys watching. Even though these are like the OP strong guys, listen. Jump into the A tier. Jump into the B tier. You'll have a lot of fun. Uh, also, these are going to get banned out. Most of these are going right. to get banned out. Right. Most um, of these will get banned out, which means you're going to be playing with these more. Um, and they're, they're in general going to be more interesting matches. Now, as a new player, once again, don't think that just playing one of these is going to auto win you any game. It, yeah, if no. You gotta once again, learn positioning, practice your positioning, learn the maps, matchups. That's the thing is like, that's what we, we don't have enough of. We play a, a lot. A good amount. But we do not play as much as, as, we, much as like, we want to. As much as we'd like and to. And as much as other people are playing. Yeah. And so when, when you don't play as much, like, I haven't played all the matchups. I would love to. So, okay, we're gonna wrap it up. Wrapping it up. Here you go, guys. This is uh, O Town, Captain Crockpot's tier list video, 2023. This is our first tier list video. I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time coming. We've yeah, been talking about it for. We've been long. talking about it. We could have waited until we felt like really good about it and perfect about it. But we, we, it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. New fighters are gonna. Get and released. you're always gonna play more matchups and change stuff. So we said, you yeah. know what? Let's let's just get it out there. Let's just get our feet wet. Let's get let's, close. Let's throw it out there. Yeah. And then you guys can give us your feedback. Tell us what you think. Um, and I'm excited to see zeros because zeros, I mean, He's arguably more experience. Arguably the best tier list out there. He's played probably the most the games. Yeah. One of, the, if not the best player, one of the best players, right? Um, Just between Chad and Zero, like probably yeah. every year. Um, so I'm excited to see his tier list. 
How do, how do we stack up with his and, and where, mm -hmm. where does he think that we are like totally wrong on? Um, That's so late. Shout out to uh, the patrons. Thank you guys so much. We have 619 Sports. We have Shy Guy for Smash. We have Vlasinski, Greggs, and O-Town. Thank you all five of you. It's been awesome growing this channel uh, with your support. And uh, this is your captain. Signing now hear this, now hear this. This is your captain speaking. What a turnout. What happened here was a miracle. The idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people. Ladies and gentlemen, you have now seen the impossible. I did you. My friend. I thank you for your support. Couldn't be more proud of you. Get a heart and soul of this team. You and I are a team. Nothing is more important than our friendship. We need you, man. I have you to thank. Couldn't have done it without you. This is for you, buddy. So without further eloquence... Thank you.